right, we're in. Hey. Hi. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hi. How are you, Colby? I'm Hi, fine. How are, how are you guys? I'm good. I mean, See, this, won't, this won't be in the episode, so you guys can say not, I, I don't, not I, whatever you I, I, I don't trust you. This will be in the episode. Yeah, true. <laughs> yeah, I don't see you <laughs> editing this out. I don't trust you. Heroes and villains, thank you for joining us once again, or maybe for the very first time. This episode of the Umbra Initiative, a show where we play Mutants and Masterminds, a superhero tabletop show, but we throw away the spandex. We don't need that anymore. Yeah, who needs it? It's all about the paranormal. I do. Mm -hmm. I need oh. it. <laughs> well, every, it's canon. Everybody wears spandex under, under their clothes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm. Um, or from, like, the waist down. <laughs> I'm worried that's what I'm doing. Spandex socks. Mm. <laughs> oh God, that's so terrible. <laughs> Fuck. My name is Colby, your professor GM for tonight. Joined here by my lovely cast and crew, Corey. Hi, my name is Corey. Tonight I'll be playing as Jordan Teller. What me? What, you want me to go now, <laughs> David? Who are you, Hi, who are you, Nicole? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Hi, my name is Nicole, and I'm playing as. No, <laughs> my, name, <laughs> my name is David. And I'm playing as Barrett Stair. And Nicole. My name is David. Uh, I'm also <laughs> playing Barris. Eh? <laughs> you and... Barris. Oh, no. And this is and Bowie. The boy. Oh, I got Bowie. Oh, here. my gosh. He's here. Oh, he has emerged. He's <laughs> he's a little floppy. But he's, he's a little very floppy. He's got a little, like, he's a little drunk. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's, he's a little <laughs> saucy tonight. <laughs> he's so cute. There he is. I actually haven't seen him yet. Though. He is a puppet. <sighs> yeah, he uh, is. He's absolutely a puppet. Pretty people, great. 10 out of 10. People were like, what are you talking about? You can watch us on YouTube. <laughs> Check out the VOD on yeah, Twitch. We, keep tapping out. We have a fair puppet we now. We do. He's um, he is also in our overlay. <laughs> yes, he is. Yep. And if anybody can identify well, see, where he is, it works. we will... <laughs> I don't know. Acknowledge you. <laughs> I love it. I love it's it. It's beautiful. Love it. Uh, maybe I can get him to lift over here. This is great. I love this. this is I know. So it's soft. so good. I can it feel is. everybody's hands sweat all <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> Can't wait till we just get it so sweaty. Yeah. Hey, you have to subscribe to our Patreon. <laughs> Patreon.com. First of all, that's not how Bowie would talk. Absolutely so not. Fucking he's got, yeah, he's got, yeah, he's got yeah, an yeah. incredibly deep voice. Yeah, yeah. Um, it kind of sounds like Barry White. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you can subscribe <laughs> to us on YouTube. <laughs> Can't get enough of your love, baby. <laughs> you don't know why. I don't know why. I don't know why. Or you can follow or subscribe to us right here on Twitch. Oh, right you here. could do that yeah. with Pro Amazon Prime. Yeah, you and you don't even have to pay a dime, bro. Yeah, if you have Amazon Prime. <laughs> that rhyme, bro. To subscribe. Yeah. Free to subscribe. Kick oh my back God. with some merchandise. <laughs> we got shirts. We got hats. Don't, we got a mask. Don't turn Bowie into a corporate horse. <laughs> you were created to be one. I <laughs> yeah, you're not an animal. You're a mascot. <laughs> right, here you go. Watch what? the bikes. <laughs> um, as always, chat. Let us know if we sound all fucked up or anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> Shall I go into our story recap so we can begin? I, so. I think so. I forgot to pee and get water, so that's a problem <laughs> for me. <laughs> oh, now it's the recap. Yeah, it's too... you were there. I was, <laughs> yeah, I was you, were, there. you lived through it. <laughs> All right. So, Bowie will take your place in the meantime. The story so far. Joke's on her. This is the shortest story recap we got. <laughs> Episode 18. Avarice has been averted in Arcadian Haven. Roland North, head of the most prestigious family in town, has been undergoing a strange mood swing which worried the house manager of the family estate, Roderick. He approached Natalie Holm, the local uh, psychiatric evaluator in town, for a home visit. She asked the party to escort her, suspicious of Umbra activity, and after an awkward dinner experience, everyone in the home is forced into the pocket dimension. The manor, twisted and malformed into a horrible, rotting gauntlet of death. The party uh, acquire several coins, which are used as keys into the garage where Roland resides. Roland has been overtaken by, the, uh, by a malevolent force, obsessed with gaining power and objects without any regard for the health of others. After a hard-fought battle, the party succeeds in defeating the Avatar of Avarice, freeing the North family from its influence. Roland informs the group that the kin had been afflicting them for quite some time, suspecting that it started shortly before their father's passing. He also says that the kin wanted him to build some sort of vehicle or device, but it struggled to do so, and he didn't get very far. The party decide to rest for the night, planning to get more information with the help of Raj the next day. 
What else should be lurking in Arcadian Haven that is yet to be seen? Perhaps the answer lies in the Umbra. Right, I forgot that we were still here. Yeah, we didn't I did leave. too. I... <laughs> but I mean, at least like we don't have to worry about any trouble. For I, the most part. Yeah, <laughs> now that you said that, though. <laughs> Moose number two. Invades the, the mansion. Deuce. <laughs> the deuce. The deuce. <laughs> it's me, the deuce. <laughs> and my cohort. Deuce <laughs> There you go. <laughs> you heard it here, folks. <laughs> uh, Colby, where's our screen? Uh, yeah, where where is our in-house monitor, yeah, sir? I cannot see what I look like. What if you what if you like skinless? Oh, I like that one. Look at Arabella. I know. Look at her. Looking good tonight. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. She did something with her hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Looks pretty good. Quick, I need to kill you guys via water before she gets back. <laughs> oh no. Um. Okay. So. It's the Baron and Jordan show, starring Baron and Jordan. And <laughs> don't drown. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so. So. We begin the episode with a nice panning shot of Arcadian Haven. The sun, or the sky painted this nice pinkish, uh, brightening blue hue as the sun rises. And we see the treetops, we see the mountains in the distance. The large centered mountain where Arcadian Haven surrounds. As we pan around, we see a familiar figure laying on her back, one leg and one arm draped over her hovering bike. We hear the faint <laughs> high in the sky. Just dangling off, we see Angelica. And holding against her ear, she's holding a cell phone. We catch her mid-conversation. She says, uh, awful idea. No, no, really. Both? Yeah, both, both are awful. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. They're all, they're all still pretty useful. Now, come on, come on, I'm being serious for once. Really, really, I mean, it's your fault for letting sales run loose for so long, but, like, you know, that idiot gave us exactly what we needed. And, uh, things are ramping up. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, shut up. Stare's a big softy. And not to mention, he's way too thick-headed to even care. I'm... You know, you should be aware of what he's kicking. Well, I'm not gonna do it. Too much on my plate already. I, I order you to do it. Doctor, I'm killing you. <laughs> Listen, you're so cute. Let's go on a di uh, Oh, hold on, I got another call. You've reached a love of your love. Oh, slow it down, mama. Let's talk a little more. And we start to fade away as the voice becomes a bit. Uh, uh, unintelligible. So we cannot hear it. Huh. What's her number? <laughs> <laughs> and we fade back. Did we roll the special dice today? Uh, oh, we no. didn't. Yeah, we... you freaks. <laughs> Whose turn is it? Mine. No, are yours? you a freak or are you a geek? I'll think, roll. I think you did it last time. Well, I did this time. Cool too. aunt! Cool aunt. Aren't you glad that I did it? I am. I'm very glad. Got cool. So it's gonna be a cool ant episode. It is a cool ant episode. It usually is. Cool ant episode. <laughs> Shut up. All right. Taking it too so. far. <laughs> the three of you awaken. Slowly, a bit, um, uh, not disgruntled, but disjointed. Mm. Surrounded by such lavish abode around you. In the softest bed you've ever slept in. Mm. Bed's too comfortable, I can't sleep. Yep. <laughs> Rich tapestry along the walls. It's very, uh, you know, old money. Yeah. Kind of thing over here. Um, that's set up and almost feel like a, like royalty. And um, yeah, what do you what do you all do? 
Uh, I'm up like super early. Okay. Um, pretty much just on the same schedule that I would be mm-hmm. if I wasn't there. Okay. Um, I just kind of wander the house a little bit until like everybody gets up. Okay. Yeah. Um, like very early in the morning, you can hear as you descend the staircase. You hear a um, uh, somebody at the front door kind of uh, leaving their garage mm. and you see Roderick um, and he looks over at you and says uh, oh it is, uh, it's a surprise to see you awake so early I thought you'd like to sleep in a bit um I don't usually <laughs> sleep in too much oh this is fine over here I, I will uh, invite you and your friends to back, uh, breakfast tonight or this morning um yeah, whenever they get up. Um, of course. Do you are. need help with anything? <laughs> no, I was just uh, moving the car back into the garage. I haven't been able to use it in quite a few months, but uh, Mr. North has had a change of heart. Perhaps a conversation with uh, Dr. Holm has uh, speaks that. She's very good at her job. Mm. Yes, yes, she is. All right, well, um, sure, I'll, I'll meet you in the kitchen. Yeah, he says, uh, well, until then, motions around as the north manor is yours to it thank you goes off to his thing i'm it? like i'm like up at like eight o'clock mm-hmm. but just like the bed was way too soft and yeah. i was like like cracking all my joints and it's like oh god oh, man headache mm. i'm just gonna like wake up disheveled just put the same suit i had on yesterday on just yeah, walk out of the room yeah yeah <laughs> Um, what about you, Jordan? Um, I wake up around, like, I don't know, 8.30ish. Um, I don't leave the room until maybe an hour afterwards. Mm. I'm just, like, poking around the bedroom, looking in, like, on the bookshelves and stuff, and looking in drawers, and just, like, being oh, really yeah. nosy Absolutely. and there's, checking out uh, There's a little balcony to every, um, have each and every one of your rooms mm. over there. And, yeah, the, the reading material in here is, like, encyclopedias. It's, like, nothing very fancy. There's, like... You find one old, really old people's magazine from like 2018 <laughs> and over there, you know? Um, and it uh, looks like it was just kind of thrown in there, disheveledly. And uh, yeah, it's very uh, neat and dust-free. Looks as though Roderick keeps a clean house. While I'm, uh, while I'm just sitting around, I'm, I'm just gonna walk like into like that lounge room. Okay. Um, and just like, just like sit down. And I'm just gonna start um, trying to research the star coordinates that I took a picture of in the mm. observatory. Mm. Just like, just Googling, like, are these coordinates anything specific? Are yeah. they are they a thing or are they just stars? Space. Yeah, make, a, make a investigate roll. Nice, bro. Bro. Mm, bro. Uh, bro. That'll be a fat 18. Oh, 18. yeah. Get him. Yeah, it, um, you don't see any remarkable pattern mm. within them. You can kind of gather from all these notes and everything that you see over here that it's it's a it's a hobby of stargazing. Mm-hmm. Um, for what purpose? Whether it just be for entertainment or if he has some sort of ulterior motive. Yeah. Whether it's even North Roland or Rhea or Roderick or any one of them, you're not mm-hmm. sure. Okay. The uh, there is a bit of paranoid like anxiety that washes over you the minute you. Look over to the lens. Yeah, realize yeah. what you know looking into it would mean. Yeah, um, but okay, you're pretty good. All right. Anybody doing anything before breakfast? Uh, no. Okay. No. 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 Lavish as the dinner you had the night before. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a little not bare bones, obviously. It's it's better than anything you get at the Domino Diner or anything like that mm-hmm. over there. You know, there's like an assortment of jams with like all the breads that are on there. That some of these jams you never even heard of. You're like, what is? Mm-hmm. I've never. What, I even know you can make a jam out of this. You know, <laughs> um, so like professionally made, just mm-hmm. not a lot. Compared. Yeah, it's not a lot. A little more bare, uh, like less selection than there would be uh, at dinner. Uh, the um, 
Uh, the people who are in attendance are Roderick and Roland. And, you know, the chef is there bringing stuff out. And, uh, know. no Raya. No Raya. Okay. And Roland sits, sits at the head of the table, um, eating normally. Yeah. Over there. He's, he's dressed a lot better than the last time you've seen him. His hair is a bit, is better kept. He, um, he is essentially just wearing like a nice dress shirt, the sleeves rolled up, kind of like a very business casual, mm-hmm. uh, very clean press suit pants, like navy blue pants over here. It looks like he's going into work. <laughs> um, like after last night, everyone's more tired except him. He looks better. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> everyone's a little like droopy shouldered a bit, and he's just like, oh, the, 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 the eggs are great this morning, you know. <laughs> uh, yeah, you guys doing anything? Just gonna like slowly eat while like my eyes just like are on him. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Maybe notice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just nervously staring at the time, like. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh. Can we hurry this up, guys? Yeah. Um... Oh, you got a curfew or something? Hmm. A little. <laughs> uh. Roderick says, um, I don't know if you are worried about the, the convent I called at the time. Oh. Uh, this morning I called them. Oh, really? So let them know that you are uh, helping us out. Oh, thank you so much. Um, who did you speak with? Yeah, he, he was a, um, soft-spoken man. Very, um, he didn't... I don't think he even mentioned his name. Okay. Guys, we gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> um, Natalie walks into the room shortly as this conversation goes on and sits down. Yeah, we won't stay too much longer. Okay. Yeah. She she looks over at um, Roland back at you guys before she starts eating. And says, uh, well, I'm glad that last night was a fruitful endeavor for everyone here. And Roland. Yes, I agree. I, I feel a lot better. <laughs> and um, I think all of us are better for such an occasion. <laughs> yeah, you look like you're doing well, big guy. Feeling pretty good. Glad to see you more of yourself. <laughs> Me too. You know, um... I think things around here are going to change a little bit. He looks over to Roderick, who beams up a little bit. It's a little lighter in his, his posture. Mm-hmm. And you hear a boom, boom. Um, if you will, it, it, excuse me for a moment. Roderick gets up and leaves. Who could that be? Probably one of Mr. North's visitors? I can't imagine it would be anybody else. You expecting company? Hmm. Well, no, I'm not, but Roderick would know if somebody was coming today. Hmm. Oh, I'm sure. I don't want to get into your business. Maybe we should excuse ourselves. All of you make a perception roll. Get these wacky dice out of here. I'm not noticing oh anything. my god, I rolled a natural one. What a good roll. That one, all right. Nine. Nine? Or total S- 28. Six. <laughs> Six. So, uh, Jordan, Arabella, you two are noticeably distracted uh, through whatever way. Um, and Barrett, you hear from outside the door, um, mm-hmm. you hear like a faint and quick. I'm... Um, when I hear that, I'm just gonna, like, slowly just, like, push my plate and just be like, excuse me. I'm just gonna get up. Mm-hmm. And I'm just gonna walk mm. out towards the exit. Yeah, so you walk out, and you know that Roderick went towards the left, towards the front door. The sound came the opposite way. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna walk towards the sound. Striding down the hall, the opposite end. Um, the... You have to open up these sliding glass doors. Mm-hmm. Um, they were cracked open. You slide in, this wave of humidity hits you. Um, this is the sort of uh, green room. Mm-hmm. Uh, you, 
the walls and ceilings and the center of the room are lined with pillars of, of plants all throughout. And, uh, lots of special blooms you've never seen in Arcadian Haven before. Yeah. Um, it's a myriad of colors, and it's it's nice. Everything has that earthy scent to it around you. Um, even if you are feeling a bit sticky, even after like a minute in here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you, um, well, you, hear, oh, yeah. you hear... You uh, hear... I'm just gonna... Hello? Hello? Raj? Yes, I've come to help. I've got you a message. Where did you come from? I... You, like, peer around behind some plants and you see in the the hall glass dome uh, a small section is shattered. <laughs> what? You could have just came in the front door. That is not how you... I thought you were in trouble. <sighs> come, come on, follow me. Should I go through the front? Yeah, just come on, just oh, this oh. way. <laughs> he, he follows you. Yeah. All right, and was gonna head back to the kitchen. <laughs> yeah, so you head to the dining room and the door opens and yeah. you see Barrett walk in. And, well, first, <laughs> walk through, you see Roderick. He's like, I don't know what that uh, could have been there. Maybe it was a malfunction in the doorbell. This is an old home, and, and yeah, opening up, you see Barrett and Raj step in. Um, Raj is wearing this uh, this purple trench coat on with a deep, like, pink, like, grimace color, like, <laughs> purple <laughs> trench coat over there Amazing. with these, like, this black gloves on. Shows up looking like Prince. <laughs> yeah, yeah he's pretty much. Exactly. Nice. He's like, That's awesome. Oh, uh, hello, and Roderick's like, uh, what this is? Uh, this is Raj. Guy we were talking about last night. Rollins. Oh, yes, your friend. <laughs> um, and Roderick says, what, where, where did you come in from? Yeah, that's what I was wondering. Hey, let's just, we can well, have like, that conversation window. after dinner. <laughs> and, uh, Raj, and, Raj. You know it. Oh. <laughs> and Roderick looks to roll in who just tries <laughs> and runs out the room <laughs> um yeah uh raj looks at the the food back yeah. at rolling yeah, i'm just gonna sits l- down yeah lead him to the table yes yeah, says you said that my name is raj and he's a pleasure to meet you mr uh, north north welcome to my home <laughs> and how do you all know each other the same way we know you. Yeah, very similar. Church. Oh, I see. Raj says, um... Um, so, um... You asked, I thought it would be a bit more panicked circumstance. Usually it is when you call upon me in some way, but, uh... What the... Why am I here? <laughs> Wrong... Oh, uh, we had a bit of a situation last night. And maybe some good news? You want to give it to him? Mansion's an umbra. Was. Was. Mm. We found, um, or Mr. North found many, um, bygones. Hmm. Quite a few. He's been collecting them. This is, uh, that, that is... Strange, I think, um, why would there be multiple ones here, and, um... Uh, I guess Mr. North is what you'd call a collector, or was, anyway. I we... suppose you should tell me everything that happened. He was... Hey, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> <laughs> he was possessed. Hmm. By, uh, by something. I presume a kin, but we're not entirely certain. We think it may have been with his father previously as well. Um, I he, guess it was telling him to build something, create something. He stands up, and he immediately walks over to Roland, and kind of just puts his hand on um, the arm of the chair. 
just leans and looks for that roll. He's looking up. Raj narrows his eyes and says, um, Your father. So this has been persisting for long. And Roman says, Well, a couple of years, I would say. Can't say exactly, though. Raj steps away, turning his back to all of you. Hmm. That is... It is very fortunate that the three of you are alive. All of you, actually. Wasn't easy. Definitely not. I ran into a lot of trouble, but... Came out the other end. <clears throat> Did you acquire a bygone? Any one of them? Oh. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Like, where, hurry, where's the chip? Got rid of it, David. Oh my god. <laughs> oh yeah, I did. <laughs> he reaches out and... Give him the poker chip. Yeah. He looks away and kind of... Just, he, he stares at it for a moment and then holds it in his palm and squeezes and... Hmm. He hands it back to you. This is not good. It only makes me wonder how many others have been here for this long. We have not found them yet, if any. You said you wanted, he was building something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, something in the garage. Could you show me? Uh, uh sure. Sure, Mr. North. I mean, if that's okay with you, if you poke around. Uh, of course, please. And ask any questions you'd like. I'm gonna finish my meal. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah, he. Raj looks eager. He doesn't care for you guys to finish your meal or anything. Mm -hmm. He looks a little antsy. So go. Yeah. Yeah, I go pretty yeah. quick. Yeah. So you guys make your way to the garage area, mm -hmm. and um, inside, it's only slightly different. You remember a lot of the the tools and the tracks are safe in their corner, like tucked away. Uh, but now there is a the car that you guys arrived in is parked in the center over there, and um, Raj walks around it to the far end and sees whatever's there and he points over quizzically. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a whatever that is, is what he was building. He said he didn't know what it was or why he was building it. He just walks up to it and starts running his hands along it and picks up one of the small hammers and just like, smashes against it, like <laughs> listens for something. Like, does it actually look like parts of tank treads? It's like a it, different type it's of tread. Completely like imagine treads lined around these wheel segments, but mm -hmm. nothing in the middle. Huh. Like okay. Only that part has been constructed. And yeah. you see like a conveyor like, sockets. belt almost. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And you can see like sockets and bolts jutting out and everything where stuff would connect. Got but it. it's never got that far. Okay. He says, um This is interesting. It seems the construction of this, whatever it may be, is mundane and earthly in quality. Weird. Why would an why would a uh, kid want something like that? I mean, this 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 family's rich. Can they just buy whatever it is? Yeah. Perhaps they could have, but perhaps it needed to be more specific. Something you can't just buy. But this is mm. crude. It is um, the tin that you face. After examining the bygone, I understand the nature of what it is. It was. And Asking for assistance is not in its nature. Hmm. And even if it didn't have the correct tools or knowledge, it still attempted to make this device. Have you seen a kid do anything like this before? There would be no point. Hmm. A kid is... 
it is beyond such, um, mostly beyond such earthly tethers, as to say. It is not, it, why make this? Is it possible that it could have just been the nature of the kin just wanting something? But why this? What was it? Maybe its mind got muddled with Roland's and, I don't know, did something unexplainable. Maybe its motivations were clearer when it was in his father's body. Mm. Mm. That is a good point. A kin taking a vessel isn't unheard of. It is one of the different ways that they can anchor themselves to here, to this world dimension. But sometimes, well, that is a lot of stress on a body. Huh. So do you think that there could be other kin in town that have been here for this long? Wouldn't they be noticeable by now? I think so. It would be. I do not think they would be inside of the town itself. As you said, it would be very noticeable. Mm. The only way this one could have escaped for so long is its location. I was... Well, I haven't been here long. I was unaware of such a secluded area. Whatever this is, it was created to have a tangible effect on this world. Hmm. Hmm. What should we do with it now? Yeah, should we get rid of this thing? Should we? Does it even matter? He he's still he's still holding the little hammer and he just tosses it on him. Boom! <laughs> he says, "This is just metal now. Metal and rubber and parts." Well, I guess that's good. Raj. He, he starts pacing. Hmm. You say this is just metal, rubber, and parts, but I kind of like hold up my briefcase. Like, so is this. That is something more. Well, how do you know this couldn't have been? If that is similar to what you have, it did not yet reach that stage of its life. Hmm. What you have is... And I do not mean to be rude, but it is an ugly thing. And I don't think there's any way that Kin could have turned that into an ugly thing. It is possible. But why didn't it do so already? Why not start there? Why go through all this trouble? I have no idea. The influence of a kin is limited to its umbra until it fully traverses into the dimension. Do you think it's possible that there could be a successful creation that his father may have made and he's trying to replicate, or...? That is a good question. If such a thing were to have been created, it would have been destroyed, like the other bygones created uh, after the king was ejected. Hmm. Perhaps we're thinking too broadly about this, this whole situation. Maybe the kin was just trying to build a vehicle so it could leave the Umbra area. But couldn't he have just taken a car and left the area? I don't know. Could he? I think you are on a good path thinking of the vehicle. It wanted to make something. And it wanted to accomplish something with it. But something as simple as a car. Hmm. This seems more specific. It would need more than a vehicle to leave its umbra, though. Hmm. It was close. I can feel it. You were very fortunate to arrive when you did. Another, well, 
could have been days or weeks, but it would have been released. It would have completed its journey. It was incredibly powerful. It had full control over this domain. The house was practically alive. That is a fraction of a king's power. You know, it's a good thing we showed up when we did. Mm. Yeah. I hope it's... Well, I do not doubt that you understood before. I hope it's even more clear now why we cannot allow a king onto your world. It's beginning to make sense. They are dangerous. Not all, but... There are... Just like all of us, there are some bad eggs. So if there are more in the vicinity like this one is there a way to track them down or i mean more than the means that we already have it is difficult there is no special doohickey i could bring out that tells you no radar that tells you where an umbra could be the closest thing you have is, you see, behind you, sniffing a, like, closed thing of paint. Mm -hmm. just, you see, <laughs> Bowie. <laughs> just trying to... The boy. <laughs> um, that is an interesting um, creature. Do you know where he could have come from? Mm. You've asked me this before. I, I do not know, and he will not let me close enough to ask. Yeah. Mm. Oh well. Hey Bo, you wanna find us another bad guy? Fuck you. Swaps <laughs> <laughs> down. Uh, bad guy's dead. <laughs> he says Possession like this is not a favored method of the kin to traverse dimensions. As you have seen um, it is unstable. <laughs> It can work with the right individual, but this kin had to try twice. Mm. And honestly, got lucky. A gambler. Oh, well, if we hear any uh, news of something strange happen, we'll be on top of it, just like this time. You need to be aware that people are just fuel. For situations like this one of many sources of fuel that can be used mm. a man's greed a family's sorrow is there a reason that some people can go into a number and remember everything and some people can't experience that is the biggest fact Individuals who have been in an umbra more than once and have a greater grasp of their consciousness during such a transition. People who are aware that something like this could happen also have a greater affinity for it. It is easier to place yourself for something if you know it is coming. Uh, yeah, that makes sense to me. There are, um, there are other factors as well, but um, yeah. they don't seem very. Um, uh, what I'm looking for appropriate for them. It makes sense, though. The more times you experience something, the more comfortable you become in it. Yeah. It has gotten to the point for the three of you where you can. Looks over to you, Barrett simply drive into one and not lose consciousness immediately. Yeah, it has gotten easier. Alright. Well, I, there was a point when I wanted to ask why are we the ones who have to deal with this, but I guess that makes us better candidates than anyone else. <laughs> Does the why really matter at this point? Not really. Whatever the circumstance may be, it is where you find yourselves now, and I, well, I don't mean to be rude, but I did give you the chance to run. 
It's true. Well, when you have the ability to do something, then it's almost our responsibility to help. It is a good way to think of it. So what do you make of this area now? It seems clear to me. It is, um... Purged, uh, cleansed, however you want to phrase it. It seems fine. Um, <clears throat> I will walk around. Could you check on Roland as well? He... I don't... Last night he still seemed to have a little bit of trouble next to some bygones, and just want to make sure there's nothing wrong. I will um, speak with him myself. And just out of curiosity, once an, like you just said, an area is cleansed, is there a possibility of it becoming uncleansed? Yes. It would happen again, but the circumstances would have to be very similar to how you left it. And um, it takes time when a king is ejected, thrown into the cosmic realm of dimensions, an array of ever-changing, expanding universes, it's a little difficult to find your way back. Yeah, you could have just said, uh, yes. Uh, out. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna go ask Nolan or Roland for a paycheck. No. I'll, I'll be- I'll be back. <laughs> oh, baby, go. And yeah, he leaves to walk around the convent. Yeah, I'm gonna head back to the dining room. Yeah. Uh, what are you two doing? Uh, I'm gonna come with him. Yeah. With Raj or, um... Uh, with Barrett. Barrett, okay. Yeah. Uh... Let's see if I can get a job. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'll stick around with them. Okay. So you all go back to the dining room, mm -hmm. and then Raj splits up from you guys. Yeah, and Roland's finishing up. Mm -hmm. Napkin, very nice. The napkin just splits down and says, ah. Oh, finished already? <laughs> Our friend is going to stay behind for a little while and investigate and make sure everything is mm, kind of as it should be. Did you reach any conclusions? Um, Nothing concrete. Uh, we should know that the area is secure for now. So that is take good. solace in that. The um, object that it had been trying to create is not an issue. Um, nothing that isn't out of this world. Will you be taking it, like you said? I think it's okay if if you keep it or get rid of it or whatever you would like to do with it. Um, it's half-built junk. The option's yours, really. I'll place it in storage in case you require it again. Okay. Um, I don't want to bring this up last night. <laughs> but, um... Don't exactly work for free. It. <laughs> no, you might, but it is it is quite all right. I suppose the three of you have been put into a um, precarious situation on my part, and maybe some sort of recompenses required. We chose to come here. I'm already paying Doctor Home for her services. Perhaps a little extra would suffice. Whatever you think is required. Alright. <laughs> just whips out a checkbook. One million dollars. It's a blank check, whatever you want. <laughs> um, all of you can increase your rank, your wealth rank by one. Nice. Cool. Um, while I'm we're... going to choose not okay. to and give it as a donation when I get to. Okay. What a nun. I know. <laughs> While we're on the subject, mm -hmm. my wealth is now zero. Ooh. <laughs> Buy yourself a sandwich. <laughs> uh, I used to work on the compound as a handyman and groundskeeper. Mm -hmm. um, You're looking for a job. My my uh, employment was terminated over uh, creative differences. Mm. Well. If I, um, try and call a reference, will I be able to that? Uh, I mean, I think my name is kind of a sore subject around that area now. Well, it isn't but, uh, around here. I work hard. I have nowhere else to be. I can vouch for him if that makes any difference. That is... Um, I will consider it. Um, Roderick does most of the work around here, but... There may be some projects he may need assistance on. And I will 
<laughs> no offense to him, but he is much older than I am. He is getting up there, but don't tell him I said that. But if you need help with anything simple that needs to get fixed or maintained... Hmm. Let us exchange contact information. That goes for all of you. Alright, and if um, you need something that requires a more accurate aim, let me know. I can also keep an eye out for any otherworldly hmm. disturbances, too. I'll be here. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. I do appreciate your assistance. And it's our uh, responsibility to help. Yes, and I wonder why you've taken it upon yourselves. No one else can. Yeah, honestly, we just kind of fell into the spot. Yeah. Well, that is... Well, that's the definition of life, isn't it? Yeah, I guess so. Into the throes of chaos. But we will persevere. Now get out of my fucking house. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go, man! Yeah, we'll do. Roderick will uh, drive you to your homes. Okay. Roderick! Shut these little homes! <laughs> 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 their homes! Oh, but I wanted to go out! <laughs> Do you think this check will will help me when I tell Brother Lewis I stayed out? <laughs> Did <laughs> <a> bribe <laughs> him? <to laughs> but I brought you. money! <laughs> but please, sir. <laughs> yeah, Roderick um, uh, pulls up the car to the front. In the front courtyard over there, and you guys are stepping in, and you uh, you hear from the front door as you guys enter. You hear, uh, "Oh, uh, wait, 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 wait!" And you see Raya stepping in, covered. Uh, she's wearing this um, white jumpsuit, uh, just like a one-piece jumpsuit over here, and uh, <laughs> it's completely splattered in paint, the different colors. A lot of it mostly dry. She comes over. She's like, oh, "You didn't even think to say goodbye. That is very rude of all." We didn't know you were on your feet today. How could I not? I've been awake all night. <laughs> well, once inspiration hits, you just gotta go, go, go. Oh, well, I hope it's coming out well. Of Wait. course, and I, I think the three of you, or the four of you here, have brought a lot of inspiration over. I just kind of got the cards moving. Oh, I'm excited to see the finished product. Hmm. Yeah, what are you working on? Oh, I'm working on a little sculpture project over there. Perhaps I'll show you one. That would be nice. She's like, oh, well, love, don't be strangers now. I know we're a bit far away. Come say hello, enjoy a nice dinner again. Have some tea and whatnot. And she gives uh, Arabella a hug first and it's paint. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, no, come here, come here. Jordan. My one <laughs> Oh, there it is. And nose boobs. Uh, Bowie, before giving Natalie a, a hug. Mm-hmm. And uh, she waves you off. Alright. So you all drive back. Yeah. Um, Roderick drives you back to Natalie's house. And... Who's driving me back to the <laughs> cop <laughs> Someone will get you. Someone, someone will get you. Yeah. yeah, you can walk. <laughs> Uh, as he... Let's we were frozen. Uh, and very bad pause phases. Oh. <laughs> Beautiful. I look like how I feel. <laughs> Be like that. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, no, it doesn't go on. Oh. 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 Wait for it. I, I'm going to have to see if the, the fix I did reversed. It's so I weird because that used to like, like never happen to us. I know. This is such a... It's just replaying... Issue. It's just replaying you, Colby. Is it really? Yeah, it did. Hold on. Let's did, see if it does it again. Did it just... It, it looped him? It looped him sitting in a seat and getting up. <laughs> I saw it move a couple times. Unless I'm yeah. crazy and I just saw it, but I don't know. Uh, Maybe I'm insane. I'm I might tripping. be insane. It's possible. It might you just, know, you may be right because he just walked back and sat down and it went... It might just be the oh, delay. Yeah, yeah. It's a long delay. Oh, right. Um, oh. okay. So, <laughs> back to it. <laughs> okay. Oh. Roderick see, opens the door twice. for did you yeah. guys. It's you all out, and uh, before he goes back in the driver's seat, he um, he gives like a little bow, mm-hmm. and he says, "I want to thank you so much for what you've done." Of course. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's it's what we do, I guess. 
As, uh, Dr. Holm, your services, I, I, you are a miracle worker. He says, oh, uh, do my best. And he gives a nod and drives off. We have a quick cutaway to in the hallway of the of the North Manor. We hear a... She's dipped. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> he just you said he was going to stick around and check out the house and talk to Roland. Yeah, anyone here? <laughs> Uh, and you hear, oh, hello. <laughs> and who are you? Oh, my name is Raj. And I... <laughs> cut, cut away. Oh my god, him and Rayo would probably oh be my super god. good friends. Amazing. <laughs> yes. I love what that. are you wearing? <laughs> Let me tell what you. What are you wearing? <laughs> Let's talk about it. Come with me. <laughs> um, okay. So you guys drive home. Who's driving? <laughs> Arabella back. Dr. Home offers. Oh, okay. So it's, it's better than if we do it. Yeah, I think if either of us show up there. <laughs> yes, if, after okay. what I've heard, perhaps it's better if I try through there. If you don't mind. I know it's a little bit out of the way considering we're at your house. No, it's fine. It's fine. Um, thank you for this. Um, I'm glad my intuition was correct, but it's only because of Jordan, what you've told me, that I was able to have that intuition at all. Thank you for trusting me. Of course. Is, uh, for all of us. Yeah, this is a strange thing to believe in. But uh, I'm, I'm glad you you did. The memories are still vague. I'm not entirely sure what happened in there, but I know it was dangerous. Well, if you ever get another hunch, just uh, let us know. Hmm. And uh, according to Raj, the more you experience these, the more the memories will stick. Mm. Well, let's hope we don't have to experience a lot more of that. If you have any questions <laughs> about the people in town, please, don't hesitate to ask me. As I've told Jordan, I hear a lot. You know everyone, so if you find something stranger than, you know, normal people, then you just let us know. That is very illegal. <laughs> I'm not going to give you the you see details. I'll keep it strictly in the realm of legality. I guess uh, other dimensions are uh, out of jurisdiction. <laughs> it is not what I went to school for. Yeah, there is a, there is one person I'd like to ask you about, but I'll wait until later once we sure? rest. Yeah, it's not urgent. All right. You say so. Anyone we know? Yeah. Hmm. Color me intrigued. Oh, Reagan. <laughs> <laughs> she gets in her car and waits for you. All right, well, I'll see you guys when I see you. Try yeah. to stay out of some trouble. Yeah, let's lay low for a bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely safer that way. And if I'm never let out again, it's been nice knowing you. I'm sure you'll get out somehow. I always manage. We'll probably see you, like, tomorrow. Probably. Yeah, with what's going on, who knows. Alright, mm -hmm. well, see you later. See ya. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now he's a speed demon. Like <laughs> <laughs> Flooring it and yelling. Yeah. <laughs> yes. She's been yelling for 15 minutes. <laughs> She doesn't even blink either. She, she just screeches. <laughs> Speed demon, it's her power. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right, so. She can move fast only well, when she screams. <laughs> the three of you return home. Mm -hmm. And um, Arabella, you return home. Mm -hmm. You arrive at the, the convent. She drives right up. Mm -hmm. It's terrible. Just, just have, have, a, have a nice day, Arabella. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. This is like when a cat like stands in front of you. Like. <laughs> <laughs> There's um like a lot of the nuns walking around like stop like holding something and look over at you or anything. Thank you for that. <laughs> <laughs> so I wanted you to get the full experience. Yeah. <laughs> and um, but then they go about their day, mm -hmm. um, just kind of talking amongst themselves. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you do? Um, I'm going to take the check and put it into like donations or whatever 
Uh, Miriam's gonna look at that later at night and be like, what? What? <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit! God damn, that's a lot of money! She just falls back. <laughs> <laughs> Goes right to the hospital fees. Uh, I'm gonna look for Olivia. Olivia? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, quite easy as you put the donations box in, and you hear outside of ring, ring, like a bite getting ready, and you see Olivia. Uh, on it. Uh, I kind of try to, like, stop. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey! <laughs> yeah, you're able to catch up to her relatively, you know, before she bolts off. She's like, oh, well, hey! <laughs> Looks like we have a cat on the table. Hey, what's yeah. up? What do you mean, what's, what's up with you? Where you been? I didn't know you are going to be gone for the whole night. I didn't either. Um, anything? I stopped trying to make excuses after about 8 o'clock, so... I th- know. Sorry. It's okay. I was actually at um, Mr. North's house. Yeah, it's a long story. Uh, you, you like 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 Rich North, like yeah, like do North, Rich North. Wow. He gave me a check. I put it in. He gave donate. you. What did you do? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we were helping out a friend, and um, Natalie actually, Miss Home. With what? I guess he just wasn't feeling himself, but nothing oh, okay. crazy. Well, you didn't invite me to the mansion? <sighs> I will make sure to next time. I didn't realize that that's what happened. Oh, what yeah, happened. yeah it, just, it just casually happens. You go to a mansion every night. <laughs> well, I mean, now we're kind of friends, so maybe. <laughs> oh, you got rich friends now. <laughs> nice. High places. Yeah, I'm off to the library. Oh. Oh. What made you want to go to the library? There's someone there right now. Big celebrity. Talk to the town. Who? Oh. I don't know. <laughs> they just said someone famous. Oh. Yeah, I'm heading over. Oh, uh. Who do you think it is? You think it's, uh, 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 uh what are the kids like? Adam Levine? <laughs> I think it's. <laughs> Isn't he like pushing 50 at this point in time? I don't think I know. Clay who it is. Oh my god. <laughs> but I feel like I know. Any other American Idol names you can think of? Uh, is American, Cy- American, American nice. Cyrus there? Oh, is it American Psycho? Uh, American Dragon Drake Long? <laughs> I don't know. I wish I could join you, but I feel like I might be needed here for a little while. A real American Doing hero, G.I. Joe. Seeing stuff. What did, I mean, has Brother Lewis said anything? No, no, not really. I mean, he doesn't say anything ever. I know. I mean, one more hour couldn't hurt. Brother right? Adele isn't even here. I know. Do whatever you want. <laughs> All right, fine. Well, I'm gonna go meet a celebrity. It's probably gonna be like Brad Pitt or something. <laughs> I and don't... he's gonna fall in love with me. <laughs> and you're not the only. A uh, person who's gonna have friends in high places. I'm gonna know every celebrity ever. <laughs> so if you know every celebrity and I know every rich person, we can be having a good business here. Celebrities are rich people, so I'm better than you. Well, excuse me. <laughs> um. Okay. That begs the question: Would you rather be rich or famous? Famous, famous. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> famous, wink, 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 famous. Famous, like, comment, famous, subscribe. Shill, shill, shill. All right, you two, Jordan, Barrett, what are you guys doing when you get home? Uh, Eating a sandwich? <laughs> I'm taking a very long shower. Shit. It's a very long <laughs> not, in, not in, in duration. The <laughs> you stop it's it. a long shit, not in duration, but in length. <laughs> it sticks out of the toilet. <laughs> that is so lowbrow. Really? So beneath us. It, really is. it took us how long to make poop jokes? <laughs> shit, we're scraping the bottom of the barrel at this point. Wow. <laughs> Um, okay, so, um, you're going home, taking a long shower. Yeah, I am very sore and mm. very, uh, ig- mentally exhausted from yeah, absolutely. this whole situation. There's almost a comfort in your home that isn't 
Like, you'd have all the luxuries in the world around in the manor, but that is not a place you might feel comfortable in ever again. Yeah, it's kind of weird, like, I be from kind of dealing with being around, like, umber situations and stuff, mm. and spending a night away from home, I never really kind of appreciated, mm. like, the comfort and quiet of, of my little house. Mm. It almost feels more like home than it ever really did. Interesting. Okay. Not just like a room to live in anymore. Yeah, yeah. Barrett? I'm not going back to the hotel. Where are you going? I'm going to the town outside of the manor. Mm. Okay. Ooh. Now I'm just gonna I'm gonna scope it out. I'm gonna drive down there and I'm gonna scope out all the houses. Right, what are you looking for? An empty one. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean kind of. I'm looking Amazing. for I'm looking for one that looks like <laughs> Barrett the Squatter. If there's any renovations going on, I'm gonna look to see if one is completed. Yeah, um, I mean, so while, like a new community. Yeah, yeah. So the houses outside of the manor, <clears throat> that little town. Yeah. All the houses are very strange. There, there's a like little shops, mm -hmm. little uh, all of them empty, but yeah. all of them are like unique architecture mm -hmm. of, you can see a lot of these different buildings are inspired by different western and eastern inspired uh locales yep. over there uh while all trying to maintain some semblance of uniformity so it can be gridded out effectively for infrastructure purposes yeah but um they haven't really been maintained mm -hmm. in quite a few years it's almost the same way that the north section of the sit of Arcadian Haven, like the north uh, eastern part where the movie theater, yeah. uh, the factory where sales was, or you know, that the office building, I should say. Yeah. Um, while although these are completed buildings, no one's been in them in a decade. I see. So, I mean, there's plenty to choose from. Are they, I mean, are they like, are they like worn down? Hmm. Make, uh, make so investigate. Long? I mean, you need to tell me what you're intended to find and i yeah. can tell you if it's available i mean i'm looking i'm pretty much looking for one that is livable mm. that is functioning yes like water heat if any of them even have that like i think you'll find water uh -huh. working fine yeah electricity and heat you might need to finagle okay all right i mean that's basically what i'm looking for and one that like i can park my car behind yeah and kind right, of like, make it look like i'm not there yeah 12. Mm. So the place is set up into three large streets, mm -hmm. um, like this this trident pitchfork shape and with uh, buildings on each side. Yeah. Nothing grand, mm -hmm. maybe about a little over a dozen buildings for each street yeah. over there. But you're able to find this nice, it used to be ironically like a deli, uh -huh. <laughs> this small little de deli area where people would go in right before work, but really specialized. Mm -hmm. um, Onto there, all the equipment's obviously taken out, but you get to the front of this glass counter, which is now uh, these basically boards in front of it. Yeah. Uh, but inside, you can see this large chamber, uh, this large room with the deli counter in the corner over there, and in the back, along with some storage, is a staircase leading up to like the small apartment mm -hmm. area. Okay. Uh, it's like a two bedroom. Yeah, uh, nice apartment. That works. Works uh, right. The water shh, works fine over there. Um, it has that moment where like you turn it on and it's rusty, so it's like this yeah. brown, blackish water comes yeah. out, and you have yeah. to let it run for a while. Mm -hmm. uh, but um, yeah, you flip the lights. Nothing. Mm -hmm. uh, there's no heat. Okay. I mean, it works for me. It works for my purposes. Okay. So I'm just gonna spend the night. I go like going back to the hotel, grabbing my clothes. Okay. Like bring them back. Do keep in mind it is. A drive. Yeah. It's like an hour and a half. Yeah. Mm. Yep. <clears throat> All right. Um, so next event happens on Tuesday. Tuesday. So we got a couple so you days. Have Sunday, Monday, if your characters wish to accomplish anything. So up to you guys who goes first. Um have a couple things I want to try, but um, I mean, I'm, if I'm, you guys I have to say you want a second to collect your thoughts, yeah, if you guys <laughs> want to go first, that's fine. I mean, uh, I'm being a sneaky boy, so I'm not doing much aside from one thing. Um, Saturday night, that later that same night, 
uh, Baravella. It's like seven o'clock. Mm -hmm. Sun just fallen. And you're in your room. And you hear from the hallway outside, you hear a <sighs> stop, stop, stop. From all the way down the hall. And that's it. Can I like check it out? Okay. Mm-hmm. Open the door. There's um in the staircase, like leading back downstairs or mm-hmm. up to the third floor, there's always like a waste paper basket. And you see that the bag in it is whirled up as if something heavy was thrown inside. Mm-hmm. Can I look? And you reach down, it's a book. Oh. A, a, a pretty hefty tome. What book is it? Encyclopedia <laughs> or camera. <laughs> uh, it is. Quote. Blazing the stars, the city that never let me sleep again. The Rodney Bale Chronicle. Rodney Bale. <laughs> More like Rodney Bale. <laughs> Oops, the fuck. Uh, can I look to see like who, if they're still around, like who threw it away? Um, kind of tough to tell. Here, um, you do see the book and it's autographed. With a very flare signature. Mm-hmm. Um. I guess I'll just hold on to that for now. Okay. You can have <laughs> toaster dad. You have that. <laughs> you have that book now. <laughs> book. All right. It's called Blaze in the Stars. This is a full title. <sighs> what is the fuck is it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you did it too fast. I wrote Blazing, Blazing the Stars. Blaze in the stars? Blazing. Blazing. The stars. Blazing the stars. Colon. Uh huh. The city that never let me sleep again. The... Comma. <laughs> Hold on. The Rodney Bale Chronicle. <laughs> That's one hell of a title. Yep. <laughs> um. Yeah. Uh. What's this book about? <laughs> Um, if you start, you bring it back into your room, click on your light, kind of sit on your bed and open up the book. Mm -hmm. It is a horrible book to read. It's (laughs) this self-glamorizing tale of a Channel 10 news star in New York City five years ago. Mm. And his career extended Uh far beyond that. Um, It tells the story of this (laughs) old farm boy turned into great newscaster with the best hair in the city. (laughs) Rodney Bale, taken to the heights of his career, only to be crushed down. Wait, I remember him. (laughs) I I remember him. The more you say his name, I'm like, holy shit. (laughs) Only to be crushed down under the weight of uh, the, the news circuit following the material parallax. And the the attack on New York. <laughs> um, of all the cameos, <laughs> <laughs> the 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 picture on like the in uh, the inner sleeve right. of him on the back is really old, and it's like, but it he looks suave and young, and <laughs> chiseled chin, tan, uh-huh. you know, spray tan skin, like sure. looking great. Um, <laughs> yeah, and. and and it's filled filled with fluff, but there is a make an insight roll. Okay. Insight this book. Insight book. More. Twelve. You believe every word of it. <laughs> <laughs> I would. It's easy not to believe in it. <laughs> there is a um. There's a lot of disdain. Towards the end of it, mm. it's a lot of a man who blames. It's like bitter. The, yeah, bitter. He blames the world rather than himself of the circumstance, but also, but also there's empathy. Like the incidents that happened five years ago and, and slightly beyond that, mm-hmm. those great events that shook the world and took it by storm. Um, they didn't 
tread lightly on his mind and like the people hurt by it that he there is a passion for reporting and a passion for legitimately wanting to get to the bottom of, of these stories. Mm. Ever since I was a kid, I wanted to know who took the cookie from the cookie jar, you know? And that, that started my foray into private investigating and eventually <laughs> reporting. <laughs> you know? Sure. Um, so it's just this weird, like, who the Kind of cheesy, like... Yeah, he's a schmuck. <laughs> yeah, he's a schmuck. <laughs> he's kind of a schmuck. Um, but with a little bit of heart, maybe. Sure. Okay. At least that's how he wants you to believe in the book. Sure. Alright. And okay. there is um there's pictures in it. Not of him, Ryzen. Well, no, they are of him, but they're of um like pictures taken during a newscast, so there's mm. other stuff going on. Mm. Um there's one picture you see uh, a blur of a shape mm -hmm. moving in a city and it looks like Rodney's talking about it. Uh and there's um there's one Pretty, it's it's an image that all of you would be familiar with. If there's somebody on the world who isn't familiar with an image like this, it's they legit live under a rock. Uh, mm. It is uh, the monster mm. that was over the city of New York five years ago. Okay. The massive, colossal being of, um, and it's it's you can tell it's like a camera shot that somebody took from the, their rooftop mm -hmm. in New York, and you just see larger than the moon itself, this vague shape of this large scorpion humanoid-esque creature uh, being bombarded with fire from a fleet of ships. Um, and it is striking even to see now. Um, and he notes that, you know, this is the chapter where everything changed and where he was going to make it big, but so many new stars came up and just cast them aside. <laughs> Nobody needed old bail anymore. <laughs> Guerrilla reporters with cell phones yeah. on live streams. How <laughs> exactly. dare they? I want pictures of Spider-Man. <laughs> um, yeah. Great. Okay. Cool. I was just thinking, could you imagine how many like metal album covers there are of photos of that thing in this universe? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> cool. But, yes. And that... Let's do anything else. Not tonight. Okay. Um, not tonight. But... All right. Uh, Sunday. Um, Sunday. I'm gonna call uh, Natalie. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Teller. Hey. So, um. Do what do I owe the pleasure? Just checking in. We had a crazy couple nights, so. Oh, let's see if you're still doing okay after everything. Well, thank you for that. I'm doing quite well, actually. Good. Um, had to shake off a headache last night, understandably. Yeah, leaving a number is it's a little like a hangover. Yeah, yeah, you know, that's actually a pretty accurate way to, to put it. Weird, lightly nauseous, a little dizzy, a little just not yourself. How are you feeling? Good. Mm. Yeah. I, uh, I realized I actually kind of missed my house. That's a, that's good. I don't think you've ever developed a feeling like that before since I've known you. Yeah, it's scary. So uh, I'm going to leave town before I start nesting. So it was nice knowing you. It was a pleasure. I'm um, going to sell your painting and it'll make a lot of money. I bet it would. Mm -hmm. um, we still on for our weekly on Tuesday? Absolutely. All right, just checking. Uh, glad you're doing okay. Yes, I think I'll give the others a call too. Uh, I think that's a good idea. Um, especially uh, Arabella. We should follow up with her regularly. Very well. But um, yeah. Okay. Just checking in. Glad right. you're doing good. I'll see you Tuesday. All right. Sounds good. Click. Bye. Um, the two of you will receive phone calls. Mm -hmm. Exchange information right now. Bye -bye. Like just asking how you are. Um, if there's any special thing you want to say, feel free, but mm -hmm. it's a routine, kind of. How are you? Doing well? Okay, bye. Mm -hmm. um, I do want to ask when I'm on the phone with her. Yeah. Oh, um, yes. You wanted to talk. Just a little curious if you've ever had any interaction with uh, Sister Angelica. Hmm. Um, redhead one, right? Yeah. Ah. Uh... You can hear her uh, like clicking. Something's clicking, like a, like a pen mm -hmm. against the phone. She's like, um, 
She's a bit new over there. Yeah, I don't think she's really one for therapy, but I figured I'd ask. Um, um, unfortunately, not. My, my business doesn't really take me to the convent very often. Um, I do recall a lot of community events where uh, Angelica would not be present. Mm. Honestly, she was a bit lazy. Yeah, she's a bit, of, a bit of a loner. Well, she found her faith, and that's important, I guess. Yeah. All right, well, uh, I just wanted to know if you knew anything about her. Of course. Jordan, anything else? Arabella, Sunday? Um... I do, if you don't. Go for it. Okay. All um, you. Unleash the nuke. <laughs> <laughs> um, I want to... <laughs> Bobby, no! <laughs> I want to try to... What have you to done, you little bastard? Damn dirty. Go into Mother Dove's right. room. So you going to try and go back in her office? Not her office, her room. Oh, her personal room? Yeah. Okay. On the third floor. Okay. I'm going to make your way up there. Yeah, I'm just trying to It's be... locked. It's locked. Mm -hmm. I can't do anything with this lock. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll go back to the office instead. Okay, it's locked. The office is locked? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's almost like someone was in there. Yeah. <laughs> almost like that. <laughs> almost. It's just a locked door. Just do what Barrett does. Yeah. Um, I don't, have, I don't have the brute strength. What? Breaker. <laughs> Block. <laughs> Break the Break. lock. Break the lock. Goof. I, even if I wanted to, I couldn't, I don't think. Turn um, to a demon. <laughs> <laughs> Open the door. <laughs> Not by the hair, but the kitty. Uh, I'm gonna yet. try to find um. Uh, Olivia. Okay. Yeah. Um, she is on bathroom duty. She's mm. cleaning up the bathroom in the the dorm. She does not look happy about it. Mm. Um. She has like the the latex like large rubber fucking yellow gloves, and she's like scrubbing the little tile floor, and just like. They're hey, shocked. what's up? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You see, Bowie's like in the sink, like way <laughs> like, too long, and it's like soaked and it's just floating <laughs> in it. Um, hey, I had a question slash mission for you. Yeah. Uh huh. What? <laughs> Listen, I'm, I'm, I'm already in trouble anyway. Mr. Miriam found out I was out last night, and I, you know, I might have had been, you know, been doing other things, not going to the library. Which, by the way, wasn't even worth it. <laughs> Who did you meet? Who was that famous? Some stupid, I don't know, he, he, he worked in New York like years ago or something. He, he just wouldn't shut up about it. He just wouldn't, he was a balding, stupid, old idiot. And he's like, oh, I was on the news. He'd be like, yeah, well, so was I that one time. I lit that fire in the back of the stool. But like, that's not even like important. <laughs> Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Where else did you go? It's there. But oh. he kept me there so long. He had like this seminar, he just wouldn't let anyone leave. Oh, that's weird. Stupid. Oh. Why? What do you want? Well, it's kind of top secret. Okay, I'm interested. Um, Bowie might also have to be involved. Well, Bowie's doing on missions. <laughs> um,. <laughs> I kind of like get really close to her. I'm like, do you happen to know where Mother Adele might keep her keys? If not on her person? I'm so glad it's a book. <laughs> it's so much more fun. She keeps a set her. on her, <laughs> but I know where the spares are. You do? Sister Miriam's got them. On her right now? Maybe. Would you be willing to help me get those keys? Oh, should I help you get the keys or scrub this toilet? <laughs> Throw your gloves. <laughs> Come on, Bowie. Yoink. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, Bowie's with you right now. All right, true. 
All right. Oh, it's warm. <laughs> Ew. He's a ferret. What do you think? Like, what did you expect? Why are his insides warm? He's alive. It's his guts. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna fill him with ground beef. Comes out of his eyes. Like, oh, no, um, he, you killed him. As you guys are walking, she says, "Um, <laughs> Miriam's on the third floor. She's doing room checks." Oh, okay. Yep. So, what's the best way to distract her and get those keys? Well, you tell me. I'll be the distraction. Right, Bowie? <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> guy. Um, but how are we going to get those? <sighs> I'm not very good at these things. Do you think we could get her to put them down? <clears throat> Maybe. Hmm. This is going to have to be a good distraction. All right. I'll be a good distraction. <laughs> um. <laughs> bathroom's on fire! She has that, yeah, she has that glint in her eye. <laughs> Don't do anything! <laughs> I'll be a good distraction, too... Arabella. It's don't do be anything. All your fault. No, don't do anything <laughs> too bad. Just enough where she wouldn't notice if her keys went missing. Okay. Okay. Don't, do not burn anything. Mm. Don't destroy anything. Mm. Nothing okay. permanent. Um. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, go. Let's do it. Let's do it. Give me that look. Fine. She reaches out for Bowie. <laughs> hold, hold him. Is held. <laughs> Hold mode. <laughs> yep, exactly. <laughs> All right. Start. You go up to the third floor, and you see all the way down the hall, maybe about the third door from the last. Mm -hmm. You see, is is all the doors are open. Uh, you know, Miriam does this every every week. Mm -hmm. um, it's just like a clean. Like she's not looking for. She's just it's like a clean room check, making sure everybody's. You know, keeping sure, uh, sure. keeping their bed made, just presentable right. and everything. And you see, she's going out. She just leaves this one, looks down the hall, mm -hmm. gives you a little wave, I like wave back into the next room. All right, all right. You gotta confirm she has the keys on her first. Uh, okay. How would I do that? I'm not thinking. I mean, you're the one who wants to do this. I know, Why but I'm me? really bad at playing. I thought you would be better at this. You always have a plan for. Well, if you're not get better, you gotta do it more. It's not. You been sneaking I'm... out all the time. Everybody knows it. So obviously you're not the goody goody two shoes you think you are. Yeah, and everybody knows that I sneak out. So that's why I'm not good at sneaking. She <laughs> walks away from you, puts Bowie down, and holds up a finger, and Bowie just stops. <laughs> Sister Miriam, Sister Miriam, Sister Miriam, watching the room. Do you have your keys on you? <laughs> Yes, dude. Yeah, I, I do, but I, I I don't see why. Um, okay. She walks out. <laughs> <laughs> Great. <laughs> she has her Sis keys. <laughs> <clears throat> oh my God! What is that? There's a rat in here. There's a big rat. <laughs> she makes a motion of Bowie and starts scurrying around. <laughs> oh my God! Oh my God. Uh, Miriam comes out like, oh my, oh my, oh my, is a rat, a rat in here? What, there's what is, a rat! Oh, my God. oh gosh! Oh my, oh my. Uh. She starts running around, trying to chase Bowie, then running through, going into her room. Bowie runs against like a bookcase. Oh, no, no, no. Miriam grabs the broom. Like, ah. He's like, I'll help you. <laughs> it's a weasel. She, she grabs the broom too. The weasel's poisonous. <laughs> a poison weasel. Oh my gosh. Get it out. How did it even get in here? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, and, uh, in all the kids. Uh, Arabella's gonna perform a trip attack. Hear that, boy? <laughs> I'm gonna perform weasel. a trip. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, Olivia's gonna perform oh, okay. a trip. Oh, okay. And <laughs> just. <laughs> and Miriam falls. Oh! Falls onto her side. Oh, oh, my. Oh. Are you okay? 
And you just see on the side. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like... I'm like, oh my gosh, are you okay? <laughs> make, a, make a slight <laughs> hand roll. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> do it. Make it with, a, with a plus, uh, roll for Bowie, Corey. Just roll me oh. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Hang on. I'll roll for Olivia. Yeah, because my Whoa. sleight of hand is bad. Yeah, 20 by Olivia. Ooh. Oh shit, thank god she knows what she's there. doing. Hey, first official Bowie roll. <laughs> Bowie, what the fuck? <laughs> Bowie rolled a seven. seven. <laughs> you get a plus two. <laughs> okay. Alright, so I have a plus six total. Oh my god, I'm gonna fucking need it! Can you point it? <laughs> I might. I might. Yeah. Okay. Fuck. Go ahead, hero point. Yeah, I need to know. What else is going on? But <laughs> All right. I hate that CD for this. <laughs> oh my god. I can't stand that. <laughs> Does it bother you? Is it Is it, uh, is it distracting? Is it distracting? Yeah. Okay, yep. Uh, I only rolled one higher, but plus 10, that plus 6, <laughs> so that's 20, not natural. 20, God damn. Dude. Would you prefer this Fuck. or this. <laughs> I think that's the, uh, that's the one. I think you can answer that on Twitter. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so you swipe the keys from ah. Sister Miriam. She's like, oh, we do. Oh, and Bowie runs off. Um, and Miriam makes chase with Olivia, like, oh, we'll get him! Ah. <laughs> Stay behind with the keys. Um, and I'm gonna quickly go to the office and just <laughs> the little unlock. It opens. Uh, I'm gonna tr immediately go for the drawer that was locked and see if any of the keys work. Um, no. 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 There's no like small like little drawer lock. Drawer key. These are okay. like. Like keys for door. rooms, okay. yeah, yeah. Then Maybe I'm special lock boxes. Okay. Then I'm gonna go to I'm gonna leave the office, lock it back up, and I'm gonna go to Mother Adele's room. Even the drawer again. All right. <laughs> <laughs> what am I gonna do? What am I gonna force it open? What am I gonna yes. do? Yes, you are. How? I have guess how guess what my strength is? Guess what my strength is? It's zero. Zero. You turn into a demon. <laughs> you open the door open. Yeah. <laughs> So you don't go to her personal room? Yeah. Okay. So you leave the dorm, go into the office, then go back to the dorm, <laughs> go into her room. Yeah. Um, there's like, by the time you get to the office and come back out, there's a line, a horde of nuns <laughs> chasing down Bowie. <laughs> and Miriam's like, get, get her, girls! <laughs> I'm like, oh, shit, I'm sorry, Bowie. Bowie. <laughs> Bowie stops in front of you, looks at you, like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm and it so has so to sorry. run. I'm like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> and I run. I like am sprinting towards like the room, trying to go like as quickly as possible. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, yeah. So, Mother Adele's room is, whether it be to the disappointment of you, okay. as soon as you walk in, similar to every other room inside that dorm, mm -hmm. a single bed bare of any objects of vanity. Um, there's a small closet full of her uniforms. There's a small little bookshelf desk. Um, the window is cracked open. Okay. Um, I'm going to immediately like look through like the drawer, the closet. Give me a stealth roll to okay. make sure you don't leave a, okay. a trail. Okay, I can maybe do that. Yes, okay. Nice. 24. 24. Um, yeah, and I'm gonna go through, like, even, like, under the mattress, like, just really trying to be as thorough as I can, as quickly as I can. Maybe investigate roll. Come you got this. I hope so. You got this. I hope so. 18. Hell yeah. Okay. 18? Yeah. <clears throat> Normal, normal, normal Bibles. Um, and you. You get to her mattress and kind of reach over to the bedside, or the, the, the bedside little counter, and you mm -hmm. like, sink your hand into it and just. Something feels weird. It's really 
firm. And there haven't been a lot of new, like, people don't get, like, new mattresses right. in the convent. <laughs> They're worn, they're, they sink in. There's like a human-sized dip in yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, you know. um, but you just press against hers and, and it feels new. Okay. I like try to like look under or if there's any like holes in the mattress, if mm-hmm. there's anything it's that... Like a box spring right. There. No, that's fine. Just a regular mattress. Mm-hmm. Can I like press to see if any parts are like harder than others like if there's a soft spot if there's like it's all it it feels consistent it feels untouched hmm okay are her her belongings in here or is it just like yeah of course there's you know just her her usual, like, you know, her clothing. Mm. Uh, her counter has, like, very, very light amount of, like, makeup that has been used maybe once, like, every ten years. <laughs> sure. Know? Um, trick. Ah. Uh, dang it. There's nothing in the mattress, nothing underneath it. Can I check under the bed? Check under the bed. Yeah. yeah you checked. Nothing. Okay. Nothing. Dang it. Another pair of shoes. Sure. Yeah, like a little white, white <clears throat> line. Mm-hmm. Frick. He feels all the way down his back. You're so lifelike, Bowie. <laughs> kind of looks like a seal. Oh, gosh. Mm-hmm. What a bit. Um. I'm going to. Mm-hmm. What are you doing? What are you doing? Dang it. What are you doing? Huh? Yeah. Freak! There's nothing in the mat. Okay. It's hard. It's a regular mattress. She probably didn't sleep there. She probably sleeps somewhere else. Okay. I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go to... the basement. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, you feel confident that you've locked up her room. <laughs> Little betrayal. <laughs> Sorry, that's funny. That I expected it to be. <laughs> and, bottle came out of his ass. Yeah. So you you go through the double doors, mm-hmm. realizing that mm, you know a significant event happened here last time. Mm. You know, fairly recently. And you walk down the landing into the basement. Mm-hmm. You look to the left, and there's a room that well, there's a secret room in there mm-hmm. that maybe you weren't privy to that you were told by um. Jordan and Barrett. Uh, There's another door to mm-hmm. the right of the hallway, and then a set of double doors at the end. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go try to find that secret room that Barrett told me about first. Yeah, I mean, using what you know from Jordan, I mean, you found it before and everything, um, it's within the pipes. You have to twist uh, some segments of it until they mm-hmm. line up. And then... You're here, <clears throat> and it opens up. Okay. I remember that place. I remember. You the... find a dragon. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the, the there's something different about the the mood of where you are. Right there's you know you see this opening, and this represents secrets, stuff that's been kept from you and the entire tone in here from what you've been told from barrett like mm-hmm. what other fucked up things might have happened mm. in this this very narrow hallway and hear the pipe stripping steaming and at the other end is this just a completely black room you have to use the phone mm-hmm. the flashlight at the end to see um there's a hole in the wall and like a chain hanging from it mm. with another with like a fixture onto it where Barrett was locked. There's a desk on the other side. Okay. Um, can I look through the desk? There's no drawers. Oh, there's nothing. It's It's just a bare desk. It's, you know, you like, it's like a a, a crudely made wooden desk that's bare. And it's like barely sanded through, like. Just like plywood, basically. Yeah, where everything above is like made with care and love. Right. You know, 
now that way nuns would make it. Down here is just stone. It's cold. It's hard. It's musty. It's okay. Not fun. Um, I'm gonna look for any signs that like, if anyone's been down here recently, I guess. Um. Uh, and you missed roll. Sixteen. Um, you don't really see anything of note. Okay. <sighs> All right, I'm gonna go back. Okay. When I don't see anything of note, and I'm sure going behind you. Yeah. Me do another stealth roll to see if you cover your tracks well. Oh. Nine. Oh no! <laughs> That's gonna come back. Everything's gonna come back. <laughs> Um, and then I'm going to go down to the double doors. Okay. Well. Do I have the key? No. Oddly enough, the key to this particular room is not on the rink. Rink. You've been in here before. Mm -hmm. You know what this room is. Right. Oh, why it's locked, you're not quite sure. Right. Is this what I'm gonna choose to do? <laughs> chaos, 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 chaos. All right. I'm gonna, is it like I'm gonna try to force it, or if I can't yes. force it, I'm gonna. I got a strength roll. Oh yeah. Do I wonder it. how this it's is like gonna the, go. Uh, it's like those um. What the, what what do you call those? Like, like a latch. Is it a latch? Like those I ones where so. just a push? Yeah. And you like. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah right. it's like one of those. Strength. Let's. Oh, that's a 20. Oh, <laughs> Four! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna get like a rock. <laughs> yeah, yeah like a, a tool, some sort of yeah. object. Mm -hmm. There's like a. Like at we the just bottom have a fight of the here. stairs. There might be rocks. <laughs> at the bottom of the stairs is like a, a fire extinguisher that was just recently replaced. <laughs> and an attack roll. With... Do it. Step. But when you're fighting, I mean, you're gonna hit. <laughs> fighting. But, I mean, you're just rolling to see if you get a crit or a one. Got it. No, I got a three. Yeah, <laughs> you hit it. <laughs> uh, what's your your strength is zero? So. <laughs> fighting is zero. My strength is zero. <laughs> Basically, uh, using you feel like a. <laughs> It, it's pretty damaged. Like, you did some decent damage on it, but it's not broken. <gasps> and it's left. Oh my god. But All you right. made some progress. I'm gonna do it again and try to okay. be quick so about it. Yes, yes, yes. 12. It's almost there. Oh my god! <laughs> ah. I should have taken that invisibility. Can you just, like, pull it off now? Can you just like, yank it now? I'll <laughs> I'll try to pull it. All right, it'll lower the DC for the strength roll. So go ahead. Fourteen. Fourteen just me. Oh my <laughs> <Nice>. god, <laughs> frig. Thirteen was the new DC. Oh my god. You you hear you feel the snap of it as you pull apart. That that door ain't closing again solidly. Oh, yeah, um, so definitely broke. Inside is darkness. I like use my phone. I like yeah. before I take a deep breath. I'm like, I've been here before. It's totally fine, and I'm sure everything will be completely normal. Yeah, and you know there's a light switch to your right, but if you wanna just use your phone, that's fine. Uh, uh I'll turn. Yeah, I'll turn the light off. Oh my god. <laughs> Keep them all solid. Ignore me. <laughs> um. Look, it fills in his back. <laughs> yeah, you you turn on the light, that's what you said. Mm -hmm. And what you see before you is the... Oh, no, it, you're so crunchy. It is uh, a bare room. The These sort of brick-like walls on either side of you are covered 
in what looks to be these these tarps to give everything this um, off white fabricy kind of like softer look mm-hmm. to it. The entire floor itself is covered in. Um, think of like the mats you would see at like a gym class or mm-hmm. martial arts um, class or something like that. Sure. Um, but they're also white, uh, pretty clean, all lined up in a grid in the front over there. The far side of the room is a slight um, uprise where you see uh, the large crucified Jesus made of gold. It's like five feet tall. It's, it's large mm-hmm. onto there. There's um, two, uh, not altars, but uh, like basins mm. set up on these tables on either side of it, empty at the moment over here, uh, and and a small little shelf full of like Bibles okay. onto there. The same Bible, each one. Sure. Uh, it's maybe about four or five there. Okay. Um, I'm going to look through the room, um, and I'm going to try to do like search for like hidden doors or like under mm. the mat or something like. Some- since I know that there was already a hidden room, I'm gonna look for. Yeah, make the investigate room. That's a fourteen. Fourteen. Yeah. You looked around, kind of pulling up on the mats, mm-hmm. the velcro to the others. You like velcro on the back. Mm-hmm. Looking around, pulling the tarps along the walls, looking behind to see pressing against bricks. Mm-hmm. Nothing. Um. Um, I'm gonna look through, like, I'm gonna try to, again, going fast and, like, trying to be thorough, I'm gonna look through, like, all of the Bibles, like, Mm -hmm. um, anything that's, like, if there's a, or the basins, like, um, anything that could be looked through, uh, I'm going to try to. Yeah. Yeah, you look through the basins, um, you know that usually at some points they'd be filled with, with holy water, Mm -hmm. some kind over there, um, lift them up, see nothing, sift through the, um, you know, fast and thorough, thorough aren't exactly right, synonyms. Right, right. So you're kind of sifting through, sure. sifting them back, sift them through, put it back. So that, that frustration growing in, in your head. Um, I nothing. Ah. Oh. Damn, dude. I know, dude. Damn. Can I, <laughs> would you allow me to look one more time under the mat? Or like sides, or is that yeah, gonna? I'll let you do another message. It'll, okay. um, I'll say, it'll raise the DC. Okay, that's fair. Come on, baby, don't don't be dumb. Don't, don't be dumb. Don't, dumb. don't be dumb. You're dumb. You're just straight dog water. Uh, yeah, it's less than before. So. <laughs> yeah, that frustration is really hindering your ability to to get through this. Mm-hmm. Like you. You lift up another mat for like the third time. And yeah. Push it down, and, and just feel your blood boil for that split second before you calm yourself down. Mm-hmm. Just, you know, what were you expecting to find? Maybe there's a bit of relief that you didn't find anything yeah. else over here. You know. <sighs> All right. <sighs> I'm gonna s- just sigh, shut the light off, and take one last like glance and and head back. Yeah, you. Look back into the room, click the light off, turn around, and in front of you, you hear. No. What is it you need down here, Rebel? And you see, standing at the bottom of the stairs, at the other end of the hallway from you, so both of you have the maximum distance between them, <laughs> you see Brother Lewis. Oh, jeez. Um. Imagine the impractical jokers, guys. Tell him D's nuts. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, D's nuts. <laughs> Put the radio on the remotes. <laughs> um, nothing in particular. Is that so? Mm hmm. I'm just chilling. <laughs> just, just, just hanging just, out. Just really wanted to pray in here. <laughs> Um, N-M-H-P. She kind of like stands there, like kind of not moving towards him, um, just kind of like standing in front and like looking back and like looking at Brother Lewis. He's dead grilling you. 
just eyes <laughs> boring into your forehead. Why do we use this room? It is a, a, a place of special prayer. Does anybody else go in there? No. Is there something special about this room? Privacy. Why do you keep it locked? Mother Adele wanted it locked when she left. So Olivia wouldn't get in and mess it up. Why is there a secret room in the other? I kind of like point towards where. Yeah, he doesn't look. Just looks at you. It was here when we got here. <clears throat> is it still being used? Not currently. But it is used. He starts walking towards you. I kind of like take a step back. <laughs> yeah, slow steps. I like go onto like my back's like just against, and I am trying to. I like put my hands and I try to like push the keys like in my skirt or like move it. Yeah, you're like to the side of him now against the wall, and he's right in front of the double doors. Mm -hmm. And he looks at the door and he like. Pushes it and pulls it, realizing that it's broken. He says, Why didn't you just ask to let to have me let you in? I didn't think you would let me. You're right. Why? Mother Adele said don't let anyone in there. What if I'm allowed in there with... It is a sacred place, Arabella. And we respect Mother Adele. Correct? Yes. It is unfortunate that you would show emotions to the door. Such disrespect. I'm sorry. She's kind of still, like, standing, like, pretty far. Like, trying to stand far away from him. He turns to you now. And he's, he's taller than you, just looks down. Why are you afraid, Arabella? A lot of people are not telling me the truth and I don't know who will. He gives you a little bit of distance. He grabs the door handle and you hear a and he rips it off of its frame just off the hinges and throws it down she like jumps and like like shields herself for a minute mm -hmm. he says not looking at you only mother Adele will tell you the truth when she deems it necessary and that is how I live and that is how we will live. She just kind of doesn't really look at him and just kind of tries to walk mm -hmm. away. Yeah, he, he lets you. Okay. Um, 
Yeah, she's gonna like start like walking pretty quickly back. Um and try to take the key that goes to the office off like the lanyard hmm. and um pocket it and try to just put like where everyone was running, kind of like leave the keys on the ground. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mirror was like, oh, yeah. Olivia's like, oh, yeah, you dropped your keys. He's like, okay. <laughs> okay. <sighs> Damn, dude. Break the door, they say. <laughs> I never really realized it until just then, but Brother Lewis kind of reminds me of Piccolo. Oh, kind of. Not he's got like, he's got that kind of attitude. Is that like, mm. like Saiyan Saga Piccolo? Yeah, <laughs> yeah like when he's really shit. firm and yeah. Humorless. And special beam cannons. Yeah. <laughs> um, he's gonna kill the hero and the villain at the same time. Mm-hmm. Yep. Because he just doesn't care. <laughs> so. The one that has to. Anything else for Sunday? Oh, good. Yeah, no, <laughs> good. Yeah. Especially after that. Yeah, no. <laughs> the Lord's Day? Hell no. <laughs> the Lord's Day I'm of all day. The <laughs> oh, you One day? The day after the Lord's Day? Oh, man. No, I don't know. Well, got, I don't yeah. want to keep doing stuff if you guys Shoot. aren't doing anything. I, I don't I don't really have... Vera has nothing to do. He's laying low. Yeah, he's, I mean... He's, he's playing it cool. Jordan's big chilling right now. Unemployed. Laying on the couch. <laughs> I want to do something, but... Yeah, think yeah, about we'll go for it sometimes. I don't want to take up too much... Dude, too much. it's... That's, it's you, 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 you are literally... <laughs> you are literally on the show. <laughs> <laughs> you are it. This is the show. This is 25% of this show. What are you saving time for? If you own 25% of a company, you can like own it. Like, yeah. yeah. I don't know. Shit. Um, Some people only own like 4% of their shares of the companies that they run. Alright. Then I am going to like Sunday night, Monday, like like eight, like 3 a.m. or like 1 a.m. in that time period. Uh, I'm going to take that number out uh, mm. that sales gave me, and I am going to try to call it. Mm. Okay. Yeah, call Hello, Arabella. <laughs> oh, oh, hi! <laughs> How's it going? I thought you were dead. Put Bowie on the phone. <laughs> yeah. I got to talk to this bitch. Okay. So you're in your room? I take it? Yeah. Yeah. And in your room, it's dark. You have that, that side lamp on. And you... Mm-hmm. I'll find my phone. You hear when it picks up a... Do-do-do! 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 Do 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 do. I just keep it on. And you hear someone pick up, and it's noise, like beep beep. Hello. How did you get this number? Who am I speaking with? How did you get this number? Who am I speaking with? How did you get this number? Business card. Who am I speaking with? You're speaking with the office. The office of? No reply. What is the nature to your call? I want to know if you have... This is a strange phone you're calling on. I'm getting a strange reading from it. Do you have information on... the convent of... That's where you're calling from. Right. And if it is? Then that is... 
proof that you are who you are. Oh. I see. Do you have any information or not? We have all of the information that you could possibly want. But will you let me have it? You know the answer to that. So a wasted call, I see. Perhaps not. I'm learning a lot. <laughs> as soon as she hears that, she kind of like clicks it and like immediately like moves, mm. like leaves the, the compound uh, for a while, just like in the woods, just sure. walking. We get a, a quick cutaway. We hear a click. We see somebody just there with their hand, this thin, almost bony hand, pale. Their hand against like an earpiece, like a headset. Uh, we hear more of that noise, that paper is turning. We hear it's much less faint to us now. We hear like office noises, like rain, rain, rain. And as we pan over behind the silhouette of this individual, the noise is not coming from a natural means. There is no cubicle around them, no office. We just see a single table with a tape recorder, an old tape recorder spinning, <laughs> playing these noises. Hmm. And the person sitting at this desk, the an old computer, big bulky monitor in front of them, is tap. Yes, this is the office. Mm-hmm. I have an interesting call for you. Oh, of course you know. You know how she got the number. <laughs> yes, yes, okay. I see. I see. Very well. I know we have other plans anyway. Click. Anybody doing else? Something else on Monday? No, I'm just uh, I'm just chilling in my new house, dude. I'm just, I'm just hanging out. Having a good, yeah, having a good old time. Not a very comfortable stay. It's, <laughs> it's better than the motel. It's October. Oh, is it? <laughs> is it? I don't know. Yeah, is heat. It? You have no electricity or heat. Yeah. I'm used to it. <laughs> it's fine. You are in Siberia and shit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's fair. Fine. It's so comfy. <laughs> yeah. You're a sniper. You're used to sitting still in uncomfortable places <laughs> yeah. for long periods of time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lastly, on Tuesday. On? Oh, Tuesday is the day of. Yeah. I mean, it's anything planned. The day after I... the day after the Lord's Day? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. Well, Tuesday is my next session. Yeah. On Tuesday, you can start heading to your session over there. Some simultaneous stuff that will happen. Right, me. So stuff is happening on Tuesday. That's where we're at. Tuesday. Yep. Uh, I'm I'm just gonna like drive into town, okay. just to like be closer, so I'm not an hour and a half away. Sure. I'm just gonna like drive into town, just hang out. All right. Where are you hanging out? I'm, I'm gonna go back to the sandwich shop for the first time Domino since Diner. I've been back. Yeah. 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 I think. Um, you would see Oster there. Mm -hmm. It's just like, oh, hey, uh, uh, Mr. Stair, you're back. Hey, hey, Oscar, how's it going? Oh, it's it's going pretty well. Um, coming back for your money? <laughs> oh no, just a sandwich. I, I saved it. I, you uh, know, it's kind of weird that you did. That, that wasn't the point of. Just just a sandwich. Okay, he looks wildly uncomfortable. <laughs> the amount of money you left him and uh -huh. everything there. And he, Whip you up a sandwich. Mm -hmm. um, the door will open. Uh, ding! And uh, you hear three people come in. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's the Hargrave family. Oh. Both, both children and the mother. 
Mm -hmm. Laura, Liam, and uh, D, Deandra. Mm -hmm. She takes a seat over there, and uh, they sit down in booth, start talking, yeah. and uh, Laura pokes her head out, mm -hmm. looks at you, and then yeah. says something, and then gets up, starts uh -huh. walking towards you. Hey, it, kid. It's sitting on the booth. It sits next to you on it. Yep. And uh, <laughs> she, um... She broke everything. She just sits and says, uh, doesn't answer you at first. Mm -hmm. Leans forward. Oscar says, Oh, uh, what do you, what do you, what do you want, Laura? The malt shake. <laughs> Heavy on the whipped cream. Okay. <laughs> yeah, sit over. Yeah, I'm supposed to talk to strangers, you know that? Yeah, but it's a small town. We know everyone. Yeah, I guess. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. How's your family holding up? Looks over. Looks back. Pretty good. But, uh, got a couple questions for you. Shoot. She reaches into her back pocket. Instead of a slingshot, <laughs> she pulls out a little tiny yellow notebook. Uh-huh. <laughs> she opens it up. Very crude handwriting. Little doodles. Mm -hmm. Little cat. Over there, and she goes past it real quick. <laughs> Had a dream the other night. Crazy stuff was happening. Yeah, Had a dream before that. A lot of crazy stuff happened. <laughs> Guess what? Before that. Another Don't dream. interrupt me. A lot of crazy things happened. <laughs> <laughs> huh. You were in a mall. It's weird. Uh huh. Your gun was a bike. Are you playing a little too many video games? Liam plays video games. I watch. Well, that'll do it too. You're a smooth one. Closes the book. Is there anything you should, you should see a shrink or something for that? Is there anything you should see a cool person to teach you how to beat? She gets up. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. Shut up! Just shut up, man! <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna like follow her over to the booth that they're sitting at. Yeah. And just kind of go over and be like, and to like yeah. to Deandra like. Hey. Yeah, Deandra's like talking to Liam like, um, I, you like the chicken tenders? Oh, oh, hello, Mister. Oh, oh, yeah. it's, it's you. Hi, hello. Yeah, I just saw you all here and was thinking I'd check up on you. Yeah, so of course we're doing we're doing great. She looks over like almost like to confirm with her kids and yeah, Liam's yeah. like you know those little um. I don't know, this might be like super dating or like nobody will get this, but like in diners they had the little mini jukebox like select yeah, the on the booth. Yeah. Like, flip through pages. Yeah. But it never yeah. really worked. And it's the same mm -hmm. thing that Domino Diner, it doesn't work, but yeah. it has these old time. Uncle Tony like, still got like, that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and it has like the hard dial you yeah, turn it. Exactly. Yep. Yeah, yeah, Liam's like too preoccupied and you know, it looks like uh, DeAndre was trying to get him to order like something, and he's just like uh huh. Yeah, I'll get that. <laughs> Says, yeah, we're doing, we're doing great. Thank you. That's, um, that's good to hear. Yeah, uh, 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 Sheriff Stone, um, you know, helped us patch up the window. Good. Uh, in the yeah. house over there. Um, no more uh, weirdness going on, or everything's all good. No, no, everything's great. Um, thank you for letting me know that, you know, <laughs> things were horribly wrong. Uh, don't mention it. it's kind of what I ended up doing around here. Oh, well, I'm... as long as everything's good, it's just. Oh. Do you want to eat with us? Laura's like, no, he doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, no I, Laura, don't, don't be like. I, 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 I could, no, no, I, please, please, sir. Mom, who's Buddy Holly? <laughs> <laughs> don't you ever say that name. <laughs> <laughs> Flipping through the things. Yeah. I kind of like. Like reluctantly sit down, like mm -hmm. clearly uncomfortable, yeah. especially with the kids. The players are frozen again. Oh yeah. Oh no. Bowie hasn't moved in twenty minutes. <laughs> True. Yeah. What a beautiful face <laughs> we're all making. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna check to see if Colby time travels again. I don't think you. I think it's just because the delay. I think yeah. I'm insane. I thought it was double, but. That must have been what it was. It's just the delay. I'm a dum dum. Dum dum. Da dum. Raguchi. 
Bum, bum. Um, oh yeah. Yeah, and La- Laura just starts talking. She's like, oh. yeah, and and Ar- and Arabella had a had a ferret. You know, she has a ferret. I heard. I mean, that's that part's true. Oh. Kind of just like yeah, just sit down. Did just she get it like... from Walter's place? You know. I'm actually not sure where it came from. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, just trying to read him. Like, get a sandwich brought over. Yeah, yeah. Just like have awkward small talk. For yeah, a while. absolutely. <laughs> yep. Uh, Laura like just starts talking more and more and more mm-hmm. um, as the conversation goes on. Liam uh, is a quiet boy. Yep. You know, he's a bit shy around you and stuff, but. Once Laura kind of goads him, mm. um, they, uh, you know, it becomes a little more comfortable. Yeah. And eventually, throughout the conversation, uh, Deandra says, um, well, "So, what are you doing for the festival?" Well, I know there was one. All the flyers are everywhere. <laughs> That's right. Well, you haven't been around here long, I guess. Yeah, I'm mm-hmm. fairly new. Yep. Well, for God. The bit of uh, Halloween festival over there. Everybody usually does something. Huh. Um, we haven't decided what we're doing yet, right, kids? One's like... Mm-hmm. Uh, Liam says, like, I was hoping maybe to do, like, a float or, or, or something over there. Uh, and Laura... Haunted house! Haunted house! <laughs> <laughs> uh, haunted house is a good idea. Maybe no, I'll... Uh... don't. Last time we did a haunted house at our place, it... <sighs> oh, you did it at your house? Yeah, neighborhoods like to open up and do things over there, or they'll go into the front of the uh, community center and do something there. Oh. I think it's the community center this year, but there was so much fake blood. There's so much fake blood. <laughs> I've never really been a part of something like that. Maybe I'll uh, dress up or something. Yeah. Um, We're yes. already pretty scary looking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I said, why would you need to do that? You look like a freak. <laughs> Honey, <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, maybe I'll make a good monster then. Um, yeah, uh, I think it's time the small talk for Yeah, alright. Okay. Anybody else? You're doing your nap thing? Yeah. A bit later in the day? Yep. Uh, silently panicking about a phone call, but uh, acting like everything's okay. <laughs> what if they call me? I don't know. What did I do? Alright, so, Jordan, mm-hmm. you'll go later that day to the uh, your therapist. Mm-hmm. Dr. Natalie Holm. Get to the front, normal work hours over there next to the mall. Park right in front of her. Cozy building. And open up and she's in her office. Her door is open the far end. Oh, uh, hold on. Finishing the email. Needs to wait a couple minutes before she crawls you in. Um, she sits you down. How are you doing, Mr. Teller? Better, I think, than I have in a little while. Interesting. Why do you think that is? What's changed? A lot going on. Mm. I am a lot more invested in things that are happening in town now than I think I was before. Being engrossed in a community uh, is healthy for an individual. It's true that all of us, at some level, crave interaction. I think it's because of the Umbras. Hmm. I feel... Arabella put it to me, but in a way, I feel responsible for keeping everybody safe from them. Hmm. I see. Why is that? You haven't known these people very long, and I've limited interactions with them. Hey, if I don't, who will? Well, as I recall, fairly recently you were ready to get out of here. Yeah. We're all glad that you didn't, whether they know it or not. I'm just glad we don't have to worry about sales anymore. There's a big weight lifted off of me. And everybody else, too. You're telling me. You would know. I still feel bad that my bullshit spilled onto your plate. It's gonna be psychotic. It's gonna happen one way or another. 
it was still my fault. Well. If I wasn't court ordered to see you, then it I, wouldn't have happened. I'd you. rather it be me than everyone else. It has to start with me to end with me, so be it. I suppose that's true. Since you love the community so much, maybe you'd, interest, you'd be interested in helping me in the festival coming up. What are you doing for it? I have no idea. What do you want to do for it? Oh, it's tough. I'm not, um, I'm not good with these sort of things. Uh, last year I had apple bobbing in front of the community center and a whole two people showed up. <laughs> a little gross. Yeah, I read it in a book and I thought it'd be I mean, fun. yeah, the idea is cute, but like the, the logistics of it are gross. You want to put your yeah. face in a bucket of water so someone else you, put their you, face in? Live a little. I just... I'm Are you afraid of germs? Did you share no germs bath water space. with somebody? No, fair. I mean... And yes, there are germs in space. Have you ever heard tardigrades? They're not really germs, but they're like these little like microscopic organisms. They look like little tiny teddy bear things, and they can never die. Nothing can kill them. Right. Okay. Right. Well, why are you writing that? Germaphobe. <laughs> germs in space? <laughs> Says, um, I don't know, I feel like we should do something. Okay. Hmm. Let's get some ideas ready. Get back to me. Not until the 30th. You can come up with something, I think. Yeah, ask the others if they want to join, too. Okay. And she'll commence just, you know, idle status reports, mm -hmm. so to say. Uh, unless you want to bring anything else up specifically. Um, not at the moment. Okay. Jordan's been pretty present lately. All right, all right. Um, Arabella. Mm -hmm. Throughout the day, you're looking yeah. over your shoulder, which like Bowie's nowhere to be seen. Mm -hmm. Might be a little uh, not happy with the <laughs> Yeah, true. <laughs> Um, I, like, leave them out little treats. <laughs> they, they have been consumed. <laughs> the, um... Maybe mid-afternoon, 2 to 3 o'clock. The... Nuns are excited as Mother Adele has returned. No, oh, no. <laughs> 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 And it's weird, she's just kind of there. Like, you didn't hear a vehicle show up or anything like that. Mm. She just comes in. <laughs> Mother Adele, where have you been? None, you bitch. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I straight up try to, like, act like everything is totally normal. Yeah. Um, soon after she arrives, arrives, she finds you. Yeah. I, like, kind of go in with, like, the, hey, like... <laughs> We're, you know, I hope you had a great two weeks. In the hallway of the faculty building. Yeah. She says, Arabella? Hi. We are increasing the frequency of our prayers. That is tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yes. Um, is there a reason? Yes. Y'all are sinners. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> um. Yeah, I think it is appropriate. There's a dis disciplinary action towards your behavior recently. And while you leaving the convent is not something I can stop. I do believe that it may affect your faith. My it's a little extra praying. Shouldn't make up. It is in it's for your best interest. My faith has never wavered. Of course not. Let's be safe. Very good. Where'd you go on your trip? 
Oh, I went to see an old friend. Mm. Where to? Anywhere fun? Um, Manchester. Oh. Hmm. I'm not much of a... Well, too much noise for me. Hmm. Well, I... I'm glad you're back. You know, we've missed you for a while. Happy to be back. Oh. You'll excuse me, Brother Lewis wanted to speak to me on something. Um, uh, uh, Caravella? Uh, 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 I, uh, before you hear anything, I got a good donation from Roland North. I hope that goes towards something. <laughs> oh, very good. <laughs> she just leaves like... Uh, Okay, so. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> You're about to get got. <laughs> no. You're about to get got, dude. I've You've been had, <laughs> man. Um. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Damn. Barrett. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> uh, do you have anything else before you head home for the night? No, Before no, you no. die. Um, on the way home, mm-hmm. you get um, shot. You're driving back. You're maybe like halfway home. Mm-hmm. Or maybe like the first third of the way. Yeah. You know, it's darker out now. and Nothing but woods on either side of you. Mm-hmm. And um, as you kind of crest over a hill, and you see on the path in front of you um, a bright light in this, like, the side of the road, like, covering half of the road. Oh. Uh, a vehicle is on fire. Uh, <laughs> oh. The engine caught on fire. I mean, I guess I'll like pull over. Yeah, you <laughs> can get you out. Stop over there. It's just a small blue sedan. Mm-hmm. Um, it's pretty old. Yeah, a junker by itself now. Burning black in the front. Mm-hmm. The windshield shattered. Yeah. Um. And you see, uh, a person. In the front seat, their head kind of just lulled. The seat belt's off. It's like half their body's draped out of the window. Like they turn to the side real hard. And yeah. Mm. Yeah, we're going to run. You, see, you just see black hair, um, <clears throat> just in pedestrian clothes, like this green button up shirt. Mm-hmm. Just like... yeah, I was going to run up and try and <laughs> try and pull them out. Yeah, you, you grip <laughs> them and <clears throat> uh, pull them out. Um, and uh, they, they feel pretty like cold in your arms mm-hmm. <clears throat> yank out over there yeah and bring them a decent like distance from the burning yeah. car um the yeah you, you pull them right away and it, it looks to be like this middle-aged individual um and short black hair kind of like fans out on the front mm-hmm. that he's got it's like a mole on the side of his cheek mm-hmm. uh caucasian just like lays down like uh, I, I guess I'll make a treatment check. Okay. Um, while you do so, uh-huh. uh, he looks up at you, immediately awake. Yeah. Uh, snaps his wrist, and you see a blade come out, and he's gonna attack you. <laughs> oh <laughs> shit! You're done. <laughs> roll, roll initiative. Uh, Damn. Fourteen. <laughs> the hell is this guy? He's your friggin' assassin, bro. <laughs> yeah, for real. <sighs> He misses you. Okay. Breakfast much. You can see the way that that blade formed. It wasn't like a sleeve. His wrist literally disconnected oh. up, opening a compartment. Oh. God. Thanks. With this blade. Uh, Freaking cyborg, dude. What's your total? 14. All right, you go first. All right, I'm just going to reach out and <laughs> make my case fly to me. It's like, yeah, you just yeah. see out the, the you're, you hear the from the back seat and then mm-hmm. or uh, your passenger seat and right outside slams your door open yep. <laughs> their gun yeah. Sh- forms yeah I'm just gonna just grab it and I'm gonna immediately use uh uh how's my name the name of my ability deafening oh. blast okay uh so it's a uh, he needs to roll a fortitude fortitude it's an affliction five seven Ooh. okay so how many degrees is that that's two. So we stunned. Yeah, you shring it out. And you see his 
head just like, <laughs> and you see his face mm-hmm. like TV static, like oh. in front of his face. All right. As soon as I see that, I'm just gonna, I'll leap back. Mm-hmm. And it's his turn. Um, from yeah. the to either side of the Can road, you hear, <laughs> as two more of identical looking Thank individuals, you. one lands on the top of your car <laughs> and the other behind you. <sighs> and one of them's gonna charge you. Oh, All right. No. Come at me, bro. I see one of those. Uh, 18 Both. hit your parry. Uh, I just need one. Yes. All right, made a toughness roll. Uh, 18. 18? Yes. <laughs> you are okay. All right. He comes in with these fists, and you block, block one with your gun, and he swings back around to hit you with the back of his hand, and you block that one with your arm, and you feel, um, not quite metal, but like a hard substance like, as you, you strike. Oh. The is other he one. Stunned? Huh? Is no, he... this is the other one. Oh, There's three guy. of them now. Um, the one on your car. Takes his left arm or his right arm and cocks it back, and you just see two barrels. Damn. <laughs> what the hell? Damn. Okay. Uh, 17. That hits. Your dodge. Yes. Okay. That hits. Toughness roll? Oh. 12. 12? Yeah. You take two degrees. Yikes. Okay. So you're now dazed. Yep. And the other one? Oh no. Uh, still stunned. Okay. Uh, your turn. <laughs> all right. Um, how close are we all together? One guy's right on you like, mm-hmm. in melee. The other one's at your feet, maybe like one, two feet away. Yeah. Uh, and then the other one's you know, like fifteen feet away. Okay. Um, I'm gonna just take my normal movement just to make some distance, like mm-hmm. thirty feet of distance. Okay. Um, just you are dazed. Oh, you're right. Mm. You're right. Mm. Okay, I'm not gonna do that then. I'm gonna just uh, take out the magazine from my gun, slap in another one, aim at the one that's 15 feet away, mm-hmm. and just uh, I'm gonna use a flurry round, which is okay. one of my new abilities. Ooh, nice. All right. What does it look like? Uh, so when I take the shot with this gun, with this with this bullet, mm-hmm. as soon as the bullet exits the gun, it's gonna like split into three, and mm-hmm. then it's gonna like pff, pff, we're all into the same target. Nice. Right, let's do it. Do it. I hope you get a nat 20 right now. Uh, not at all. Uh, that's a 14 to hit. 14? Yeah. Oh, uh, hits. <laughs> nice. Oh, okay. Get him. Uh, seven damage. Seven damage? Yeah. Uh, did you succeed in 14 on that? <sighs> Damn. Oh. Yeah. Uh, the bullet <laughs> strikes into the side here, and you see blood spray out of their side <laughs> on the top of your car, mm-hmm. and it spins around, um, and it makes a noise. It's like... <laughs> mm-hmm. um, all right. All right, their turn. Oh, uh, the one behind you seeing that uh, ejects his wrist out mm-hmm. and this long blade, uh, like this mono blade. It's <laughs> thin and uh, he goes to stab at you. Okay. Imagine if you just got team attacked right now, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you're supposed to win this fight. Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna try though. Yeah, starting to feel a little yeah. fixed. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's toughness. Uh, 20? 20? Yeah. Uh, you're dead. Okay. Nice. All right. All right. The other one. Yep. Gonna yep. jump off of your car and fire at you. Okay. Fire! 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 Hit me, bro. Uh, Hit me, bro. Seventeen. Get a one. Yeah. Hits. Oh, well. Hats. You can do it. I believe. Oh, okay. Twenty-four. Nice, you're dude. Okay. Yeah. This bullet, uh, just just grazes your cheek. You know, you're okay. Yeah. Okay. This boy's ain't got shit on uh, you. The other guy. He's up. All right. That is a 23. All right. Yeah, he, but that's his turn, so. Okay, now I'm going to make some distance. <laughs> Run back 30 feet, and then I'm going to, again, change cartridges, and I'm going to use a, a explosive round. Mm, okay. Nice. And just try and hit all three of them. Okay, so dodge Very nice. for me. Yes. What's the DC I got to hit? Uh, 10 s- plus whatever that is. 6, so 16 is the DC. Uh, fail. Nice. Fail. Nice. 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 nice, dude. Yeah, damage six. Hell yeah. Uh, Hell yeah. Damage six, you said? Yep. Okay, so. One takes one degree. Okay. 
Let's say the one laying on the ground. All right. It's the second one. There it is. Damn assassins. Assassino, assassino. Assassino. Request in um, The other two, unfortunately, do pass. Okay. Um, oh, wait, no. I'm sorry. First one failed miserably. Oh, As okay. you see, um, the one that had the gun, mm-hmm. uh, this your bullet hits between all of them and spirals into this explosion, and the other one just gets thrown back, hits the ground, crumbled, and doesn't seem to be moving. Nice. Damn. Huh, nice. Okay, hell yeah. Uh, yeah, the other two, you know, one of them looks a little smolder, the other one got out of the way. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> both approach you. Right. Uh, both of them have their blades drawn now, and they're both gonna come at you. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, 19? Yep. Um, 15? Parry? Yeah. Does not hit. All right. Nice. nice. Toughness. Okay. You can do this. Three on one. They ain't even a, eighteen. This ain't even 18. Brother Lewis, bro. You got yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Mm-hmm. Just some chump. Yeah, some okay. chumps. Okay. Chumps. Right. No, I'm sorry. You did one injury. Uh, Robot fine. boys. Chump. That's fine. Yeah, they're both cutting at you. Moving, um, well trained mm-hmm. uh, killers at this point. They're not going for like broad, intense slashes. They're coming in like. Okay. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You know that scary moment where like if someone's coming at you with a blade, they they're. Like, yeah, it's really yeah. scary to think of somebody <laughs> just stabbing at you. But they actually like, know what they're doing and they're yeah. not like over exaggerating. Yep. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 So that's what you're going through. All right. Um, okay. I'm going to again back up. Mm-hmm. Just like continuing to back step. Uh, and I'm going to change cartridges once again. Uh, and I'm going to use a dancing bullet. Mm. Um, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mm-hmm. just look at them, fire my gun, and as soon as the bullet comes out, it stops. And it just like hovers. It was right there. Lower yeah. their gun, then the, the bullet's still there. Yeah. Nice. Uh, and then I'm gonna use extra effort. Oh, that's weird. And I'm gonna cool. just take a normal shot at one of them. Okay. Nice. Drone Kill him! Not 20 right here, baby. No. Damn. 16. <laughs> okay. Nice. Oh, Seven okay. damage. Yep, hits. You got this. How much damage? Seven. Uh, 19 total. So that's one. Yep. One, right? Yeah. Okay. Shoot uh, the other one on the side, um, right in the, like right in the chest, but not in, like the heart over there, and just mm-hmm. and you see a blood spray from behind him. He grips it. Mm-hmm. it Should have knocked him on his ass, but he's coming at you. All right. Uh, their turn. They're gonna attack you. Okay. No, so they ain't even when the first you, one comes to me. Yeah. As soon as it steps like within ten feet, that floating bullet just right into him. Yeah. He he moves to the side to dart to try and grab you, and as mm-hmm. soon as it does, the bullet. <laughs> just nice. a completely different velocity and direction just yeah. goes to try and hit okay. us. Out. Roll to hit. Roll to hit. 11. Off, unfortunately. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Damn. Lit cool. Yeah. Uh, he misses. Yeah. The other one. Uh, he misses as well. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Um, All right. As uh, they both Dire come head. to cut you again, <laughs> you're fending off really well. You're uh, moving backwards, trying to throwing the butt of your uh, you're doing pretty good. Your gun, mm-hmm. and you mm-hmm. unsheath your knife for a moment and block mm-hmm. one of their cuts, and then sheath it back. And yeah, you're a, like, oh, a wow. very trained individual. Yeah. Uh, and you hear from behind, and you see three more. Oh no! Behind your car. <laughs> oh yeah. no! God. I thought you All got right. the three, baby. I don't know if you could <laughs> yeah. get the six. Okay. I'm, I'm picturing the um the new jacks from Tekken. Yeah. These, yeah. these boys ain't even problem, bro. Just kill them. Uh, all right. I'm. As, as soon as I see how outnumbered I am, uh, I'm gonna just throw my gun up and transform it okay. into, into my bike. <laughs> okay, like, so oh, now I hop right on and I'm gonna drive down the road away from town towards the manor. Sure, hey, you're just <laughs> leaving behind the, the fire in your car over there. Mm-hmm. This is all of them are oh, hello, watching man. What's you. Going on? Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> and they're going to. You just see one. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Another one. <laughs> oh no! And through this road, these five oh, shit, dude. Uh, individuals, um, again, dressed as pedest- like complete normal pedestrian, like wearing jeans and shit, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. One has joggers on, like, mm-hmm. are running and fairly keep me off. Oh I'm- no. All right. Oh shit, dude. Uh, and, Sorry. You know all five are just in a. 
Oh my <laughs> Start shooting. Okay. Oh my god. That's gosh. fair. That's fair. Can you take it? five shots? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually it, fair. It's fine. Are you sure? I'm good. 25. Yeah, of oh. course. Are you sure? 25? No! Yeah. Get a one. 23. You're a bitch. Uh-huh. Get a one. Uh, that's 11. Okay. okay. There's two ones. 21. Yeah, You're okay. You're a well, bitch. Four hit. <laughs> well, roll those Let's do this. You can't believe uh, you've done this. That's a 20. Good. Okay. You're okay. You could do this. Oh, what is that? I can't see it. It's a. Uh, that's a ten. A ten. Do yep. you have a hero point? You take two, <laughs> two degrees of injury. You're fine. You're one fine. It's only yeah. one. You're bro, good. You're it's, good. It's, it's super You're so bro. You're that's a nineteen. Uh, you're good. You're good, bro. Okay, one more. These guys are chumps. Natural twenty. Dude, these guys are chumps. <laughs> Dude, these you're bullets fine. flying at you. One of them uh, hits your arm, and you mm-hmm. don't fucking care. Your adrenaline's running through your system. Yep. You got this. <laughs> and they're just running. <laughs> uh, all right, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put one of those maneuvers on my bike where I just kind of like, I skid to a stop and turn around and then full speed the other direction. Ooh, I like it. Nice. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just... Drive right past the old. Yeah, move to the I'm side like the double way. speed going, like 120 miles an so hour. Like smack one. Shit. <laughs> Run one over. <laughs> oh, you're right. Okay. Yeah, you <laughs> Okay, they're gonna... They're, they're pursuing you. All right. Oh my um, gosh. They move to the side. Uh, and can I just like, like, just on my turn, can I like try and whip out my phone? And just sure. like... I'll say that. Uh, I'm gonna, and I'm gonna call Jordan. Oh, boy. <laughs> Yo! Phone <laughs> call, call. As I'm going, it's like, yeah, yeah, it's like all yours, wind and yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Barrett? Jordan, Jordan. Hey, we have a problem. What's going on? <laughs> Dude, what the hell is happening back there? A lot of people trying to shoot at me right now. Where the hell are you? Uh, I'm in between the town and the manor. <laughs> I'm on my way. <laughs> We stop. Drive. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, they're all gonna shoot at you. Okay. Uh, 22. Yep. Oh my god. 21. One! Get a one! Uh, 26. Oh yeah. my yeah, god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. four. Yeah. Dog water? Uh, 14. Misses. Alright. Dog water? Dog water? Okay. Four. Get yeah, four. I want you to get crit miss right now. That would be nice. Natural 19. There okay, you go. Here's one. one. Uh, Give me that crit miss. 17. 17? Did yeah. one injury. <sighs> okay, you're Sorry. fine. You're, you're, RNG, this is you're golden boy. Uh, yeah. You're yeah. totally going, fine. Going, this is a far cry from Adam. Natural 19. Dude. Oh my gosh. Nice. One more. It's oh. a... Oh. Mm, 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 oh, no, no, no. It's okay. That's a hero point I'm using. <laughs> Oh, boys. Now you're playing the game. <laughs> now you're playing. Now that's one. Oh, yeah, yeah, on a hero point. Yeah, yeah that's baby. amazing. <laughs> These bullets <laughs> flying through. Another one hits your the same arm. It yep. makes you swerve for a moment, mm-hmm. and um, you feel that. And one of them we see has a clear shot, just right down his wrist on the back of your head. And yep. you're just like, Grr. stop real quick, and it just <laughs> crumbles under you. <laughs> Rolls out so it's not like, significantly damaged, but it's enough to you know, just avoid the shot entirely. Yeah, so you just yeah. keep going. <sighs> Damn. And now I'm double speed. Yeah. <laughs> <as much again. laughs> um, Damn. Yeah, but, uh, Jordan, what are you doing? Uh, I <laughs> throw on my jacket, throw on my boots, and run the fuck out of my Next house. To you. Like, well, I can't go on. Yeah, yeah, no, well, I, mean, uh, I finish my oh, dinner. <laughs> There's something in the oven, like. Hmm. <laughs> Damn it, Barrett. Do it I finish my pot roast or do I save it? I uh, okay. throw open my front door and blast up into the sky. Okay. In yeah. the Get direction him. of the manor. He, li- he, He's far he away. does live far away. Mm. Mm-hmm. It's going to take you some time. All right. speed, you, yep. you go double timing it. I'm just kind of like parallel like with the road. Like, I'm just kind of, mm. like, hovering over it, looking for headlights. Yeah. Um, you do... Made a perception roll. Oh! Yeah, 20. Nice! You see a vehicle um, heading in the same direction as you. Um, one headlight like or two? Like two headlights. Okay. Like a sedan. It's, mm-hmm. um, like, all tan. Old vehicle, and it's speeding in the same direction. Mm-hmm. Uh, if I like look down, can I see who's driving it? Uh, you have to get pretty close. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna keep going in this direction. I don't have time to. All right. Yeah. Screw around. Barrett, you're 
Yeah, I'm. Gonna, oh, we're frozen. we're frozen again. Pretty good. <laughs> look at David. Yeah, look at me. <laughs> you look so angry. <laughs> look at my face. It's beautiful. You're like, <laughs> that's a twenty face if I ever saw. Yeah. yeah, that's a twenty face. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have to fix this again. Yeah, why do we keep on? Uh, a lot apparently. Tonight. Apparently. <laughs> apparently. <laughs> Do you have any water now? No, My water no. has been sitting too long, and now it smells like plastic bottle. Um, and it kind of tastes like plastic bottle, too. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. It didn't blink out. No. Nope. No. Oh, it didn't fix it. Oh, okay. uh, You'll see it. Um, you'll oh, see yeah. it. Yeah, you'll see it. Uh, okay, so they're going to attack you. One of them... One of them is going to, as they're they're running, Has a mm -hmm. um, they're going to reach behind them and throw a familiar device right in front of you. Mercury. Mm. <laughs> is that <laughing? laughs> Not that familiar. Yeah, uh, yeah make a uh, flashbang. Fortitude uh, save. Okay. Seventeen. You're good. Okay. Gonna okay, you shield your eyes just in time. Yeah. The other, th uh, the other. Uh, four. Mm -hmm. be... Okay. Uh, Seventeen. Nope. Oh yeah, that hits. Okay. Higher. Uh, Twenty-four. Yep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Nine. Yes. Uh, Twenty-four. Okay, Just so three miss, hit. bro. Yeah, three <laughs> hit. So these guys roll well, apparently. Uh, Ten. Oh Take shit. two degrees. How many injuries do you have? Five. Oh. Uh, I... <laughs> Five total. <gasps> Five total? Yeah. Well, the three. Ten. Oh, shit. Three degrees. <gasps> uh -oh. You're not done right, yet. Well, here's another one. You're fine. You're fine. Sixteen. One. Oh, right. my God. Taking a, hit, taking a beating now. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <sighs> double timing. Jordan's double timing. Uh -huh. Um, the, the car was quite a ways ahead of you that you saw in the distance, Jordan, as you mm -hmm. move your, with your speed, you're able to catch up pretty quickly there um and uh eventually like uh wow, still be more time yeah so, all right we're still driving uh I, I am but at this time i'm just gonna throw a flashbang it's behind Ooh, okay. me okay nice dodge rolls for me or dodge rolls yes dodge roll it's a it's a six the rank six so these guys gots to go. They gots to go, dude. You can gots do that. Two I passed. believe in you. Three failed. Uh. Okay. Uh, so, uh, how, how many degrees do they fail by? Yeah, I'm rolling that now. Because okay. it's fortitude then, right? Fortitude, yep. <sighs> What's the fortitude range? Six. Uh, one failed by one degree. Oh, that one sucks. One of them is visually impaired. Okay, the one in front just has the green bat. He's not within attacking range, we'll say. Okay. Okay. That's 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 all I got. Four of them. Four of them coming at you. Yep. Uh, 24. Yep. Uh, 11. Okay, miss. 15? Just hits. Oh my gosh. I'm not, a, I'm, a, I'm a squishy boy. And 12. Misses. Nice. Two of them. Okay. Oh, you could do this, David, I believe. Okay. Just well, get... I have nothing to toughness. 19, 20, 19, 20. 20? <laughs> Very good. 19, 20, 19, 20, 19, 20, 19, 20. 11. 11? Two degrees. Oh, no. You're fine. Just getting riddled now. Yeah. It, it's fucking stinky. My suit was just bloody. Yeah. 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 Oh, God. <laughs> okay. I mean, I'm, I'm just... You're, you're, yeah, you're yeah. double timing it Yeah, there's not, nothing I can do. I'm, I'm going. I have to I have to try and get yeah. into town. I have yeah, to try and get I mean, out. You weren't very far from town. Yeah. I'll say it's been enough turns to where you see a pair of headlights mm -hmm. and a light in the sky. <laughs> yeah, I'm not even hiding. It. I'm not even trying. Yeah. It's just this purple glow yeah. hovering I, over the highway. Yeah, and I, I see that and notice that's Jordan. Mm -hmm. uh, but I don't know who the car is, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna try and like swerve around the car. Yeah, you <laughs> drive right by it, mm -hmm. um, and you see the the person in it. Uh, he's just gonna ram into these people. Just <laughs> Oh, okay. Damn! <laughs> Alright. One of them takes an injury. Okay, Damn. I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> Hit me like one of your <laughs> Jordan, roll initiative. Who? Jordan. 
Me? That's you, baby. In the fight. You win it. What is that, 13? Uh, 14. 14? Okay. Kill him. Start from the top over here. Barry. Okay. What do you do? All right. All right, let's let's turn on a dime again and slap in the flurry bullets. I'm going to shoot one. Until you <laughs> Yep. Fire. Okay. Do it. Kill. Okay. Kill them all. God damn it. <sighs> no, ten to hit. Yeah. <laughs> Goes wide. Jordan, your turn. Um. So as I fly in, you're coming towards Sucker me. Sucker punch him. Yeah, right. yeah. I, yeah I, I just came towards you, like stopped and, and then yeah, flipped flipped you back. see a bloody okay. Barrett drive by this other car. This car is just rammed mm. into this group of people who have been running on the road. And like smoke is coming out of their wrists. <laughs> uh, so they hit them. Did they all go in? Different they dispersed directions? a bit. Um, okay. They're still on the road. Um, as like, as I am coming in, I'm gonna kind of swoop along parallel, like or maybe like alongside the car, and whichever one is on like the like passenger side of the car. Uh, I'm just gonna like kind of like throw my fist forward and like joust through him. Nice. <laughs> like nice. using the same yeah. like speed as, nice. okay. as like, the I car. Yeah. Let's do it. So, yeah. Do Unarmed it. with my strength. That's, well, cocked. that's cocked. That's cocked as fuck. Yeah, that was. Man! Oh, <laughs> I thought that was a 20. Yeah. Uh, was like, 10. Tunes. 10? Yeah. It does not hit. Fuck. You, you don't expect to feel this. Like, the way they move around you, they just <laughs> move suddenly, and you're just like, what the hell? And they're moving so fast, uh, you just don't have a beat on them quite yet, and you just move right by, right behind them now. Um, Kill them. Uh, two of them are going to disconnect and fire at you. Uh, okay. One of them, the one that you tried to hit, has uh, a blade in his other hand coming out of his wrist, and is going to slash at you. Damn. Uh, four, uh, 17. Uh, just, yeah, just hit. Okay, made a tough missile. That's for fine. You've got toughness for days. Uh, do I? Oh, not that much. <laughs> uh, 11? 11? Yeah. Uh, you take two degrees of damage. Fuck. She comes in and slashes at you with this strange blade. Uh, another one's gonna shoot at you. Okay. Uh, can I uh, nullify the explosion of the gun? Uh, yes. Can I attempt to roll for it? Yes, absolutely. I'm gonna compete with his. Uh, ain't gonna work. Uh, seven. Twelve. Uh, well, close, right. but so as he like shoots, I like try to like mm. black hole. It's it. too fast and we're frozen again. Can? Wow! Yeah, we are. Dude, what is happening today? I don't know. Weird. <laughs> I know, right? Like we're so close. I just gotta get through. Is it like? Is it because we have too many? We didn't deactivate any other USB things. That's not a be it, right? I mean, Probably. Can I you just don't know, plug I some? Because it's, it's hot. True. I, mean, I, I don't know. <laughs> All right. For now. Um, yeah, so um, uh, the other one, yeah, you, you attempt to nullify. He misses anyway. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> that force that you've uh, applied to it, like that slight suction, like, just, like, push pushes it, it aside. Here. Yeah, and it goes wide. Okay. Uh, three are going to shoot you. Okay. Uh, 11. Miss. Natural one. Nice. Uh, nine. Nice. Nice, Okay, dude. all right, I'll take it. So uh, behind so them, the car skids around and drives, pushing the whatever old jalopy it's got, uh, okay. and it's going to try and ram into another one. Okay. Uh, I don't know who's driving. It has to be, like, in but wait. She's got a whip. Completely totals one of these, and just crumbles over. Damn. Nice. nice. And continues driving. Awesome. I think it's stop. Okay. Uh, I'm going right. to. It's either Angelica. Or uh, I'm just stone. gonna yeah. try to take a, a, another shot at one. Um, okay. Is there one like on me, or is it? There's another. Three are chasing. They're, so they're trying to get melee. Range. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm shooting one of them. Oh, I guess two are on you. One of them is that run over. Damn, dude. Twelve. Does not hit. Oh, uh, man, I'm rolling like crap now. I know. I get all my good rolls out. Um, so after <laughs> At I least like, you're alive. <laughs> uh, so after I like try to like just through them or whatever, they're going back in the opposite direction of me. Mm -hmm. So I'm now behind them. Mm. So I'm gonna turn 
and uh, open up my hands and open up a black hole and try to pull them oh, away nice. from Barrett and towards me. Nice, bro. Okay. okay. So what's nice. your move object right there? Uh, seven. Seven? Okay. Yeah. So uh, is it area or just... Um... I guess I can focus on one of them. I, it's it's sure. not area. You it could, should be. You could spend a hero point to make it area. Oh. Yeah, let's do it. Might as well, right? Yeah. We got fucking 15 minutes. Yeah, let's, go. <laughs> let's go crazy. Yeah, absolutely. All right, so. Yeah. I shall roll for you. First one. Well. Total? Uh, 16. Yeah, 12. So they get yanked back. Next mm-hmm. one. This might be tough for you. Do it for each one. Okay. How was that? Uh, 15. Damn, 14. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> one Damn. more. Mm. 18. 8. Oh, nice. Yeah, nice. Barrett, Come you here. take a shot. <laughs> and it goes wide. You're like, ah, they're right on you. One of them leaps up. Mm. Blade drawn. You're just like, ah, this is it. <laughs> <laughs> and immediately you go. And all, all three of them. Yeah, shit. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Nice. Like magnetized almost just get pulled nice. backwards. Nice. Oh, yeah. but, awesome. Yeah, okay. Uh, their turn. They're all going to look at you, Jordan. <laughs> and uh, they're all going to attack you. Of course. Nice. You got this. You're fine. I ain't scared. <laughs> I ain't scared. No go. Uh, what's your parry? Uh, six. Okay, miss. 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 Nice. <laughs> Good. Miss. Good. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Miss. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Every attack. 14 and 15. Fuck <laughs> yeah. I rolled three eights and a seven. Or two eights and a seven. Good luck for us. Uh, yeah. They all just have blades drawn. On my drawn. Superman shit. Yeah. It's cool. We have, it's just like, it's like a daredevil fight almost really. They come in. Just you're like, weaving. Yeah. yeah. You know, bashing so one in the head. Um, uh, and uh, so that car stops uh, a distance away from you and you hear the door open up and you hear get down the knee your knees right now and you hear the voice of uh sheriff stone all knew it oh nice uh, at the end and then and uh Barry, your turn <laughs> okay yeah i'm i'm gonna look over and see sheriff stone mm-hmm. uh and i'm just, just gonna i was gonna yell out they're not gonna listen and i'm just gonna shoot one of them okay Yo. 18? It's <laughs> nice. Okay. Seven damage. <laughs> one. Uh, three degrees. Nice. Nice. There we go. Hell this one hits yeah. right, like, in the neck almost. Like, straight as a true. Nice. Okay. Uh, Jordan. <clears throat> um, whichever one's closest to me, mm-hmm. um, I'm going to push my hand, like, down towards the ground and open a hole beneath him and grasp him. Okay. Nice. Um, so so. It's inflict- uh, make a range attack. Yeah. Nice. Oh, yeah, 23. Hits. And uh, uh, is it an affliction? Yeah. Okay. What's affliction the. Eight. What am I using? Uh, resisted by dodge, overcome okay. by strength. Uh, 14. What's the rank of it? Eight. So. One degree yep. failure, which so, is? Which is impaired and vulnerable. Okay. Nice. So nice. Now I'm going to use extra effort and I'm going to punch him. <laughs> <laughs> nice, dude. Let's do it. You're like, you want to go, bitch? He has <laughs> half his defenses. Nice. Oh, fuck. No, it's half. It's half. It's fine. It'll be... it's, uh, dude, I rolled a two. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it's half. Dude. Right. It might be um, she... it, Ten. <laughs> Does not. Damn uh, it. Right. <laughs> Thought yeah, maybe. Yeah, you come in and um, you like punch at his shoulder, you connect, and his arm disconnects, like, and he doesn't look phased at all. Just goes flying. It's like, what the hell? And he just looks at you, yeah. and you see a flicker of his face, like this white stash. What the hell are you? Uh, that's what I tell you by attacking you. Oh, great. <laughs> as one does. As as it were. Uh, there we go. 22 to hit. It hits. Toughness roll. That's so hard to read. Mm. I know. Um, That's why I keep the dice tray glass, because yeah. I'm blind. Uh, 14. 14? Yep. You take two degrees. Mm. Shit. You're fine. I know. Oh, we're good, we're good. No, you shut up. Yeah. I think it's just one. Unless it's one, yeah. <laughs> right, I'll take one. I'll take one. Yeah. It is one. 
is one. His buddy is going to attack you. Of course. Nothing. For a. He's a wimp. 17. Ah, just hits. Okay. Toughness. He's a wimp, though. You got this. Oh, God. Oh, God. Um, I can't. Even nine. Read that. I rolled a three. Uh, mm -hmm. That is. Two degrees. Mm. Okay. Okay. Right, yeah. it's it's the one you shot at is going to shoot you back, Barrett. Okay. So it holds its net for uh, 12. Does not hit. Nice. Okay. And then one of them is going to run towards Sheriff Stone and okay. attack him. Uh, hits. Mm. Stone takes one degree of damage. Damn. Yeah, not bad. As it, he kind of just rolls out of the way as he tried to stab. He's, you know, has that position where he has the wind, uh, the door open and is, mm -mm. Uh, he's holding a hand gun out through the, the window mm -hmm. and just stabs into the window and he has to pull back and he's just like, oh, I sat on your fucking... Yeah. Okay. Barrett. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, his turn. He's okay, gonna yeah. fire at the... Nice. Ooh, kill him. On stone. Kill him. Come on, Stone. That's 18 Do hits. it. Nice. Yeah, kill him. He deals one injury. Nice. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> Okay. Hell yeah. Uh, now you finish him. Finish him. <laughs> um, so we got one aimed at you, yep. we got two on Jordan, and then yep. one on Stone. Um, I'm going to aim at the one aiming at me. Yep. Um, and I'm going to... Kill him. I'm going to use an... <laughs> a, I'm going to use a... Do you have one of those N like a voice yeah, boxes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm going to use power attack. We're frozen again. Yep. Oh sure. my god! Do the roll. Yep, I'm doing the roll. Keep her going. I'm so sorry. We're almost everyone. done. Thank you, everybody, for uh, putting I, up I with us. Uh, we will definitely have this fixed, hopefully, yeah, next week. Absolutely. It, it might be. It, it is too possible. Many, too many it is definitely possible. We, we, we need to remember to turn off the USB hub before mm -hmm. we do this. Hey, total? Uh, not high. Eight. Does not hit. <laughs> Jordan. Um, Kill them. I'm going to grab one arm, homeboy, by his <laughs> other arm. <laughs> okay. Mrs. Nesbitt. <laughs> Do I need to like grapple him? Or yeah, are you him? trying to make a grapple or? Are you oh, I just want to grab flavor? him by the arm. Yeah. I guess it, it would be a grapple to continue what I want to do with yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. If it's just a, an attack. It, then this is just flavor. I um, mean, it is. Are you trying to damage, or do you want to get the grapple condition on him? Well, kind of a mix of the two. <laughs> so you want to grapple him? I want to, yeah, I want to grab him by the arm and do something. All right, make, with make him from that point. See if you, you grab him. Okay. Yeah, yeah, away, so I don't fuck this up. Mm -hmm. And plus unarmed. Yep. Uh, eighteen. That hits. Nice. All right. Make a strength roll. Okay. See strength. if you actually grapple. All right. Do it. You got this. The strength is. Oh, that was fuck. Looney Tunes as bug. This damn bullshit. Nine. 11. Damn. You Damn it. grip on. <gasps> yeah. Um, and it, it just pulls away from you too, yeah. too hard. You, the pull of your, um, uh, your, your pull from before is dissipated by mm -hmm. now and it tugs away from you with one arm. Damn it. Uh, blade drawn. E it's turned. Him and his buddy are going to slash at you. I wanted to hit the other guy with him. <laughs> <laughs> that was my goal. I was going to grab him by the arm and then hit the other dude. That would have been fun. That, that would have been fire. Been fun. 22 to hit you. Yeah, that uh, hits. The other one missed. Okay. So toughness roll. Easy. Oh, Christ. Um, 13? 13? Yeah. Yeah, uh, two degrees. Shit. You're dazed. Sure am. Firing at you? Yep. Seven. Misses. Or 12, sorry. Misses. Uh, the other one hits. Stone. Uh, stone takes two degrees. Hey. Stone's about to die out here and you don't even know why. No, 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 no. <laughs> Barrett, your turn. Okay, I'm gonna take another flurry shot at the guy that's attacking me. Come on. Natural one. Oh my god. Yeah, so you uh, jammed up a bit there. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, you're trying to switch to cartridges. It's like, ah, god damn. Yeah, it. you're you're fumbling. Your your body's shaking violently. Yep. You're not used to lot. losing like this. I know. Yeah. I know. Really. Okay. Well, I Jordan. guess. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna keep focused on one arm, mm -hmm. dude. And I'm gonna try to like uppercut him. Yeah. Do it up. Rock him, sock him. Up. Yes. Okay. 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 We're in this. Twenty-two. That hits. Damage. 
Mm-hmm. Damage is seven. Uh, that is a six total. Oh, so he. Damn, he is. You oh. just uppercut him, flies in the air, and just lands onto his shoulders and the back of his head and crumbles down. Uh, nice. Right. Oh, nice. Yeah. And that's all I can do because I'm dazed. Yep. The, uh, the other one's gonna not even bat in an eye at that. He's gonna attack you. Of course. He's about to get the same. 21 to hit. Minutes. Toughness. But I got all the bad rolls out. <laughs> Crap. Oh We're all rolling God. pretty bad today. Yeah. Yeah, seven. <laughs> seven. That is... Uh, three degrees. Oh. One's that shoot at you? Yep. 17? Yep. Toughness? Oh my God. That's the last time I answered the phone. Oh, four total. Oh my God. Four total. Yep. Nine. Degrees. <laughs> no way. Yeah, right. right? Hold on, you have All four, right? right? Four, oh. yeah. So nine, 19 is the number. So nine, 14, 19. Wow. Yeah, three degrees. Wow. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're alive. <laughs> <laughs> alive somehow. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the other one. Kill <laughs> <laughs> him. Higher low. What? Higher low. low. Always low. Four. <laughs> okay, yeah. So high. yeah Immediately, so always go high. we just see <laughs> he's gonna miss. Slash the side, bro. like slashes at stone, uh-huh. like hits the side of the car. Mm. Here's the gunshot, and here's a pain, like from you. And yep. it immediately turns around and he's... starts booking it towards you. Okay, yeah. Uh, he's gonna leap and slash it. He's gonna miss, right. bro. Don't even worry. Do he's do gonna it. miss right now. Nineteen. Yeah, hits. Yeah. <laughs> you got nat twenty coming. Minus it's fine. Two. Sixteen. Wow! Yeah, rolling at one degree. Hell oh yeah! Slashes down you. <laughs> I feel like you degrees. like just roll out of the way and he catches you in the shoulder yeah. or something. Yeah. Stone's Yikes. turn. Okay. That's why. Nice. nice. Yeah. Yo. Yeah. Yo. The one that slashed straight at you uh-huh. comes back, goes to shoot and right in the back oh, of the head. Oh, nice. nice. Brain. Awesome. And gears. <laughs> gears. And wires. Uh, Barry, your turn. Okay. Big forty shot. I'm killing him. <laughs> okay, twenty to hit. That hits. All right, seven damage. Uh, uh, seventeen total. So one degree. So one. Okay. I'll take it. I'll take, I'll take a hit. Yeah. <laughs> Shoot the one that you were shooting You've at before. You've already taken so many. Yeah. Jordan, you can... Uh, <laughs> what the hell is happening? Where, how many are left? There's one Just on you, one. and there's one on, uh, Barrett. Oh, right, yeah. The other dude. All right, um... <laughs> all right. Oh, all right. Or um, he's not on top of Barrett. He's aimed at Barrett. Or he has his gun module. The other one has the blade at you. Um... Oh, fuck <laughs> shit. Bless you. Bless you. you. Um... Blade Boy, point blank. Um, I'm gonna like push my hand forward, open a black hole, and try to meteor right, shot out. Okay. Nice. Let's clap Let's his it. cheeks. Get him. Right in the face. Let's clap his cheek. Yeah, that's the hell I'm talking about. God damn it. Do it. Uh, 21. Got nice. It. What's the damage? Five. Mm. You buff that up? I did. I gave it one more. Ten total. Oh, eight total. Mm. So you said five? Yeah. That's three degrees. Nice. Ooh, it's multi attack. Oh, oh, yeah. oh nice. so I just get open the, the like <laughs> yeah. the like black hole opens and it's just barrage. Yeah, it's like, like it's like moving forward and like yeah, and then nice. it just keeps getting pushed back. All right, make another attack. I can't read it. Uh, eighteen. <laughs> yes. Eighteen total. Just make it up. <laughs> It just continues. I add my second I'm hand to it and start seven. to like step forward into it. <gasps> oh yes, kill him! And it's just crumbled now under the weight of this barrage of, of meteor strikes onto it. Until you're like, you know, stop! He's already <laughs> dead. <laughs> yeah. uh, okay. Is that three degrees again? Yeah. Oh, so he's down. Yeah, so he's down. Yeah. Nice, 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 dude. Nice. Uh, so like awesome. one second, like start hearing like rocks hitting pavement. Yeah. I like <laughs> let it dissipate. Yeah, like I guess he's dead. Um, <sighs> 
looks back, looks up at you, uh-huh. and then looks into the woods, the last one. Mm-hmm. The gun attachment goes away, and instead, two blades, and it runs at you. Okay. Oh, yeah. no. Come at me, bro. He's gonna miss, don't Come at me, bro. 20, not natural. Five. Yeah, it hits. Oh, <laughs> shit. You're fine. You're gonna get at 20 yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, You're yeah, at yeah, 20 yeah, right yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, 13 minus 3 is 10. <laughs> I, <laughs> okay, yeah. two degrees. Oh, I close you're the hole. Fine. As soon as I close it, I turn you're to look good. at Barrett totally and watch him get cool. murked. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> just slashing at you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like barely standing. I'm yeah. like, it, like, you'd be amazed at how I'm even alive right now. Stone's in a fire. 19 natural, so. Stone's gonna save the fucking day. Yeah. True. Well, uh, night. <laughs> it hits, but does not do any damage. Mm. Okay. All right. Ching. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's like time. Terminator shit. Okay. Uh. God. Uh. Is Jordan and Stone more than thirty feet away from me? Possibly. Mm-hmm. We like might be about. Feet. Yeah. We might. Guys are relatively close. All right. I'll, I'll take a few steps back to get thirty feet, and then I'll definitely blast. Okay. So oh, now you care about where it goes. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, <laughs> I uh, see. I'm sorry, what, what happened? 16, 16 fort, right? Yes. Or fort, fort save is what I have to make. Yes. I rolled a 16. Uh, he passes. Mm. A slight flicker. Mm-hmm. And when it flickers, you see, like, it switches faces to, like, a young woman. Mm-hmm. And then it switches again to an old, wrinkled man. Yep. And then back to the other face you're seeing, just all staticky and cracked. Like, oh, I'm, I'm gonna extra <laughs> effort and take my second degree of exhaustion okay. and just try and attack him. Yeah. Finish it. Finish. Nope. Oh. It's an eleven to hit. Does not hit. <laughs> Jordan. Finish her. Um. Oh, fuck. Um. I'm gonna open a black hole in my palm and try to pull it towards me. Mm, okay. Get it away from. And bear it. Tank boy tanking up. Fucking <laughs> shit. Yeah, I don't tank. know about this, man. Uh. 15? That, that just hits? Nice. Alright, maybe a strength throw. Or, um. Yeah, uh. Strength. Or your move object roll. Mm-hmm. So, and then I'll. Uh, uh. 15 again. 14. Fuck. Nice. <laughs> Damn, good job. Yeah, you just. Gets tugged back again. It puts both blades against the 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 road as it comes, like, but it's not back. enough. And yeah. sparks like it nice. turns back to you. So, so cool. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's gonna attack you. Okay. I don't uh, Twenty, not natural. Oh, uh, that hits. To fix that. It did it again. Oh, it did. That's a good. You're like, <laughs> yeah, victory. Like the machine. I will be able to fix it. No, I just meant I didn't know if it was worth fixing the rest of the episode. Oh, uh, yeah. It's- it's like the freeze frame at the end of an 80s movie. <laughs> David, you always look so grumpy. <laughs> he's, he's, I'm tired. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I'm in it. I'm so proud and nobody's impressed. <laughs> there we go. All right. Okay. Uh, uh, I just uh, got hit. You need oh, a toughness roll. Yeah. Looney Tunes, I dude. I, all that I roll is sevens and eights with this fucking knife. Bro? Uh, nice. bro. Shit. Mm, bro. Ten. Tell your story. Story. That's two degrees. Hey. Slashes at you. You take the hit that would have been four. For him. Yeah. Or your, your buddy. Uh, nice. Stones and shoot. On stone. Another 19. Nice. Stone's doing work. He is, he is doing, doing work, work, actually. He really is. Yeah, he is. No damage, though. Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay. Barrett. Finish him. Take pick- this. Finish him. Uh, all out attack. Okay. Oh. Natural 20. There oh, we go. Yes. There, there we go, baby. You throw everything uh, in on this one. Yeah, pissed him off. On the side roll, it's 20. You're going to roll one. Oh, I rolled a one. <laughs> ah, no way. <laughs> I take a picture, but my phone's dead. Look, yeah, I'm not moving. Look at this. All right. Uh, wires. <laughs> I can't read it. Can't read it. <laughs> it's a, it is one. <laughs> uh, yeah, you, he explodes. Um, you, His whole body explodes. Yeah, <laughs> you didn't even fire. You're just like, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Jordan, this right in front of you is this creature, and the, and the face is keep flickering. Mm. And at one point, um, it just looks at you and raises both its arms into the gun position, aimed right at your head. And uh, the faces keep changing. And at one point, you see Barrett's face mm. in it. And then, 
just completely back of his head explodes and yes damn i, I, I like i, I want to say like i i fell like to the ground mm. just being so injured yeah, and so. when i was on the ground i like just oh just, like, in the 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 nice, nice. The yeah that's all you see yeah. in the prone before shortly like oh, yeah. holy <laughs> shit i dropped to a knee <sighs> um you hear footsteps anyone want to tell me what the hell is happening around here that was my next question and um as you guys uh you know this interaction happens you hear a As all of the corpses, even down the road, they oh. see just oh explode, my God. explode into an like green orangish, orangish uh, liquid. Mm. Uh, Jordan, make a dodge roll. Oh shit! Yeah, because it's right next to me. <laughs> so Ooh. Looney Tunes. <laughs> is it seven again? Oh no, it's seventeen. Okay. Um, Nine plus five I feel. is twenty-two. You're, and then make a toughness roll. Bro. Resisting half of the. You're fine. You're good. You're good. Bro. Oh. No, I'm not. Dude, I am not. I got a five. Five total? Yeah. Oh, you suffered three degrees. Oh my god. Um, yeah. Uh, 18. So 10, 15. Yeah. yeah. As this acid goes oh. right onto you uh, and burns through your skin, like uh. immediate serious burns oh, onto you. The, um, no. You avoid the bulk of it over there. Uh, as all the corpses are turned into this black, green, orange muck. Ugh. And that's where we'll end tonight's session. Oh, Damn. Getting God. burned to death. Ugh, I'm just laying in a puddle of my blood. I had like two more injuries. That I, I have 11 down. injuries. Dude, I have se <laughs> seven. It's hard I have your healer, huh? I only, have, I only have one toughness, and it's not even like natural. It's oh, so before, the, before the camera's freeze. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much for joining us for this episode of the Umber Initiative. If you like what you see, make sure you check us out on all of our social medias, including Twitch, Twitter, YouTube, Patreon, Podbean, Spotify, Google Play Music, everything. We anything. didn't even do the poll. We oh, the poll. <laughs> you freak. Oh, yeah. My phone, somebody check. My, po my phone's oh, dead. I don't oh, know. oh, well. Uh. <laughs> I think I know who won. But I don't know all the stuff by heart. Last week's poll, you vote. can join and vote on every week's poll that we announce. Join our Discord. Mm -hmm. Yes. Talk you mean the, to uh, us. The, the what is Elias' favorite item on, Den on the Den's menu? Yes. <laughs> that was uh, a good question. What, what are the results? Or rather, the, the, what were the, options? the options were the Slam Burger, mm. the Chicken Addiction Bowl, mm. Mama D's Pot Roast, Mama D. the Signature Panuki, or the Grand Slam with Sausage. And the winner is? Mama D's pot roast. Mama D's pot roast. Why is it even good? Nice. Um, and we'll have the new poll question tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Ironically, my favorite thing wasn't even in that list. <laughs> <laughs> is the eggs over my hammy? No, it's the Philly cheesesteak omelet. Mm. Mm. Oh, mm. good stuff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Not sponsored. No. Denny's actually Denny's, sucks. Denny's, <laughs> Denny's pretty rough. We're never going to be sponsored. No. Uh, Look up Keith Tappanets, the Umber Initiative, the Umber Initiative, Deep Tappanets, where you'll find us. Mm -hmm. uh, we will be back every Wednesday, 6.30 p.m. Love you. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.